Yo, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, Shy Guy Ty with the Z. Back at it again with another stream. How we doing? How we doing? How we doing, lovely people? Bruh, I'm just not gonna try to tell you guys what game I'm I decide to play next because legit as soon as I do that, I don't I don't play the game, bruh. I was supposed to be playing Star Wars Hunter Hunters yesterday. Like that was the day it came out, but unfortunately I had to help one of my rel relatives move out and i was there the whole day bro from fucking the sun was coming up i was working and the sun was about to start coming down and i was still working yeah i couldn't even play the game bro i haven't even played the game yet oh that sucks but it's all good we're here for a reaction wednesdays no oh I got some, I got some great eats too. I have some hot, hot garlic wings. I've never had hot, hot garlic wings before, but I, I had one and they're pretty good. It low key looks like hot wings with like lemon pepper sprinkles on it, but it smells just like garlic with, with the side of fries. You already know I had to get the fries, bro. Had to get the fries, but we are back with the reaction Wednesday. So good, I had to say it twice. For the first couple of, first three videos we're watching are gonna be trailers because I saw these trailers and I, I think they're pretty cool. So the first trailer we got is for Astro Bot. I am definitely not a long-term fan of Astro Bot, but the trailer, not the trailer, when you get a PS5, they have you play as him, and it's really cool. Like, it's really fun. I was thinking of streaming that, but I wanted to enjoy that all for myself, and it was a very cool experience. So I am, I'd totally be down for a new Astro Bot game. Let's check it out. Look at that smooth frames per second. <laughs> I guess Astro Bot is kind of like the unofficial PlayStation 5 mascot. Hello. Oh, if you hear me eating, bro, I'm sorry. I'm going to try to mute my mic. This is like the the second proper meal I've had. Eh, I said the third, but I'm extremely hungry. Had no idea what the bottom word said. Okay, capture on a P PlayStation 5. Mixed of gameplay and in-game cinematics. Astro Bot looked amazing, so I'm pretty sure this is going to look really good, too. Awesome more PlayStation. Okay, showing us the controller scheme. Bro, the vibration on the controller in the Astro Bot demo was awesome, bro. And we're off just like that <laughs> oh it looks like they kind of just embrace how they had Astro Bot in the free game that you get with the PlayStation and just has like PlayStation shit all around but I don't know I just see a ship I'm gonna start talking I'm gonna try to no way this is the whole game okay I was about to say okay we're using assets <laughs> hey, that boy using Fortnite dances. Arms. Oh, dang. Casino level with time abilities. Whoa. Big Sponge Boy. Oh, my gosh. Nathan Drake. Oh, shit. More PlayStation figures. Yeah, Parappa. The PS5. The 
he has five? What the fuck? Donkey Kong. PlayStation Donkey Kong. Hentai PlayStation. Man. Snake. Birdo. Triangle. Construction. Splatoon. Sword. PS5 controller. Tree from fucking Wispy Whips. Woods. Banjo. Space level. Snow. Olaf. Big Great Giant. Kratos. And he just touched the magic genie lamp. Oh my gosh. It's Will Smith. Another PlayStation. Oh, with all the PlayStation stuff. Astro Bot. Is it free? If this is a free game, I'd totally play. Coming to PlayStation 5 September 6, 2014. Does that mean it's free? It sounds like that means it's free. Oh, gosh. It does not look free. That's a box. But it looks fire. I don't know. This could be like a Fortnite deal. Like you pay for it. You pay for it now. Or like you pay for the physical version, which doesn't mean anything. I guess it's just for collectors. I don't know, bruh. That game does look sick. It looks more, more, more or less like what we got with Astro Bot, the free demo. The next trailer we got is for MK1. Just, just, just look at it. Just look at it, okay? Homelander. I've never seen the boys, and I don't know if I ever will. The only way I will watch the boys is if I'm watching it with a special lady. <laughs> but I got no plans on watching it, for real. I just know Homelander is pretty much like Superman if he had sentience of, like, he's the strongest being here, and... He can just control the world. So, yeah, let's check it out. What the fuck? What? I don't get that scene. You have chosen war with a god. No, you have. Hmm. I knew he was going to say some shit like that for some reason, bruh. I'm like, this nigga looks like he'd say some, like, Uno reverse card ass move on you. Oh, you get gameplay. More trailers need to just show us some raw gameplay, bro. Damn. That nigga could just float. I mean, that makes sense. What the fuck? There's a little gremlin on her back. On his back. That'll get ratings. <laughs> That's a cool grab. The most insecure, most selfish sticks and stones, Katana. <laughs> the gremlin's there again. Damn. Yeah, he's just sitting there. Everyone has a freezing point. Take your best shot, Frosty. Nigga called him. Nigga called him Frosty. Whoa, that tree got a face on it in the background. What's up with. What? What is up with him and the gremlin, bro? She must be a, the gremlin must be like a new assist or something. I know she's from like older MK games. Damn. She's just cheering him on. Hey, good read. Damn. 
What does he do? Uh-huh. You get her. Mm. Mm. Okay. Oh, finishers. Yeah, I forgot those were a thing. Mm. Damn. Oh my gosh. Jeez. Fatality. I have wins. I have no idea of Oh, the Gremlin. One more. Oh. Nigga just thumbs up. Okay. I have no idea if any of that, uh, any of those finishers were like crucial moments in the show. I can only imagine. But Homelander looks really cool. I don't know if I, I don't even know if I'll ever play Mortal Kombat 1. I got like one bad memory of it that's not keeping me from playing the game. It's just, I, I see other fighting games that I like, bruh. And Mortal Kombat 1 is so different, bruh. Like, it's completely different from 11, which I'm pretty sure was the purpose. But I just don't feel like learning how to play another Mortal Kombat game, you know? I like my, my platformer, my cartoony platformer games. <laughs> I'm more of a cartoony platformer guy. Okay, the last trailer we got is... For Star Wars Hunter, I don't know if we've seen this before. I don't know. I really don't remember. But we are watching it again. Star Wars Hunter pre-order trailer. I feel like I might have seen this. Of course, we've got to watch it on the Nintendo platform. It's my, it's my grand poopy. Star Wars Hunters. Ah, oh, I was supposed to play you yesterday. Play new Star Wars. Okay, I didn't see what that said, but it's all good. So it's like a, it's a, an arena type game. Yeah, I don't think I've seen this. Customize your hunters. Rebel dude. Lady with the lightsaber. Lady with the gun. Is it a 3v3 epic multiplayer battles? Squad Brawl. Trophy Chase. Okay, different game modes. Power Control. Yeah, I mean, pretty self explanatory. Those niggas just did the coolest dap up. Whoa, the galaxy is watching. Oh shit, that droid looks cool. Dude looks like Bubba Fett. Oh, you got a fucking. You have a. A droid Jedi? I've never seen that. Whoa, that's a cool concept. Yeah, that game looks cool. Aiming on the Nintendo Switch, though, might be a challenge within itself, bruh. Uh, next, next video we got, it's, it's, it's four minutes of SpongeBob characters exploding for no reason. Yep. I I am really just 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 breaking the edge on reaction Wednesdays Wednesdays man you don't get this type of content anywhere else let's let's hop into it And then you'll explode. Hey, I mean, that made sense, bro. He said for no reason. He literally said he was going to blow up. Oh, this is new SpongeBob. I can tell by the animation, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? 
Oh gosh. <laughs> Register. That one was. Oh my gosh, nigga just blew up. That one had a reason. Those were exploding pies. They explained it earlier on the episode. Come on, buddy. You're going to have to get your, your clips right when you're dealing with me. A SpongeBob expertise. <laughs> Register. Glad that's over. <laughs> this nigga. These niggas are just watching, bro. Mr. Krabs is cuddled up with SpongeBob. <laughs> oh my gosh, the whole screen just went white. Dang. Oh gosh, I'm finna turn up the volume. I can't find the coin slot! Here it is! <laughs> Not one of my better ideas. That one, hold up, no, no, no. That one also had a reason. Miss, I think SpongeBob put the coin slot. He had a coin slot that made him explode. There was a reason behind that, buddy. I see three clips off rip that should be taken off, man. Come on. I'm the fucking, I'm the fucking SpongeBob inspector in this bitch. Damn. You may win this time. Yeah. Once again, just like the pie from before, Squidward bought an exploding pie. That's exactly why that happened. Come on, man. Five clips, man. Five clips. I'm keeping track, too. Thanks. Oh, shit. I really gotta go. That was the, um, 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 this one also had a reason, too. The reason was because Squid Squidward was imagining how SpongeBob would react if he ate the pie. He just randomly, you know, would explode. That's what Squidward was thinking. This is the imagination of Squidward, man. Come on. Six clips, buddy. Let's try not to get ten. Six. Thanks. I really gotta go. <laughs> 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 now that that was for no reason. I mean, that one kind of had a reason. <laughs> what? Nah, that was for no reason. Do I do I even have to say it, man? That's that's clip number seven, bro. We're almost done, so I don't I don't know if he's gonna hit ten. Barnacles. I have to tear you apart. Yeah. Bit by bit. Yeah. I thought he was about to say the B word, bro. I was gonna be like, dang. 
molecule by molecule. He's gonna blow up. Atom by oh. atom. Blow up. Yep, that's uh -oh. how you make a bomb, buddy. So that's, that's clip number eight, really technically clip number nine, because one of the clips that you had was Plankton's little pet, and he pulled the pin out of a grenade. So I'm going to say that's that's clip number nine for you, buddy. You got one more. One more. Yeah, he, he blew up for no reason. Oh, my God. I mean... No. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, what blows up? Oh, do they What blows up here? Someone's someone's head or something? I don't even remember. I know they're just going to keep spinning. They're going to go flying, boy. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my gosh, bro! Why is this dog staring into my soul? You laugh, you restart. Let's go, bro. Dog, you sold me. I'm not gonna laugh. What is that? What the? F okay. <laughs> Bruh. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Is he wearing a is he wearing a Twitch shirt? Okay, so super Super Mario Bros. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't funny, buddy. That's actually kinda mean. He's gonna fall. Yep. It's out of sync, bro. It's so late. Tu te promènes sur Marseille le soir. Oh, he's weaving that guy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bro, he's playing with death right now. Oh, dang. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that was beautiful. He's gonna break it. Yep. Yep, there it is. What? How did she even fit in there? What? What the fuck? Oh, and I feel cry. I don't care. Bro, are goats like the only mammals with frog like eyes? Instead of pupils, bro, they got like these little slits. I don't know. That was just something I noticed, bro. And it's kind of. Oh, it's kind of creeping me out. Oh, dang. So, what do you think? Oh, nice. Like. Oh my gosh! That man climbed up so fat. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! You're gonna fall. Oh shit! It's the final boss, nigga. He's legit the final boss. What type of clip was that, bruh? Ah, you crap. <laughs> ah, yo, you crap. <laughs> ah, yo, what you is crap. gonna happen? <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Bro, that's gross. I'm eating. What the fuck? The dog came out of nowhere. The turtle. 
Oh, oh my gosh. That poor turtle. That poor turtle, bro. Damn. He went from having a really nice day to just having a really bad day. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh my gosh. What the fuck? Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I laughed, but I'm not restarting, bro. I don't I don't want to rewatch this 3 minutes, bro. These 3 minutes have been pain. Pain to the soul. I finally found a funny clip. You can actually, how about you restart? Rewind this from rewind to three minutes and 37 seconds. Go. Oh my God. Whoa. That was totally supposed to happen. Dang. Got so pissed. <laughs> she got so pissed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. She took it so quick. I am worried that my dog is going to bite my baby. She's going to bite your baby. My baby will bite my dog. Oh my gosh. What the fuck? No, nah, that's some cooked. That is some cooked. Like, this is some cooked type of comedy, bro. If you're laughing at this, I'm not judging you. I just know you're extremely cooked, bro. Like you are on the internet a lot, and that's not a diss. That's just like a, it's just a, it's just a fact, bruh. That's some cooked stuff right there, bruh. That's something like my my little cousins would laugh at. Why does she have a Nerf gun? Oh, what the fuck? Ooh, what in tarnations? What in bilitations? What? am i looking at right now what type of creature is this is this like a pokemon is this like breeding pokemons bro you mixed a uh, a cat with a mouse i don't even know how you did that oh my gosh oh my okay <laughs> i was about to say hey man love whoever you want <laughs> Love is love, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh. What the fuck? <laughs> Whoa. This is cooked, but I, I, I enjoy this cook. That nigga killed that shit. A mouse or something, Oop, or not? What the fuck? Oh, he's gonna walk closer, isn't he? <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's gonna be like right in front of their face. <laughs> Nigga trying to get some of that titty, boy. <laughs> Yo, 
Okay. Oh, God. What the fuck? What does that even Oh my gosh, you guys get it? She was acting like she had no idea what her mom was talking about, but she she actually knew exactly what she was talking about. She did everything but what the mom was specifically telling her to do. And she was being real sly about it because she has her eye looking at the camera. Her mom doesn't even know that she was recording. It was a prank. Oh my gosh. She's going to love this when I post it. They're going to love it. Yes. People are going to think this is so funny. Oh my gosh, I fucking killed it. Oh gosh. Whoa. What is up with this music, bruh? He's gonna take your bike, dumb dumb. Oh, that nigga don't know what he wants. What the shit? He broke the AI, bruh. Good bit, guys. Damn. He's gonna do the same thing. Oh. Oh my gosh. What is this creature right here? Ah! Get it away from me. No wonder those videos were so cooked, bruh. The creature that was making it is just. Oh gosh. Speaking of cooked, I got a little, I got a little story, a little tiny story behind the video that we're about to watch right now. So, I was at my cousin's house, and I have like three younger cousins. One's in high school, and the other two are like in elementary school. Yeah, and when we, it was just like us four in a room with the TV on, and my littlest cousin turned on this quiz called the brain rot the brain rot quiz and this is what we're watching i i just i i don't know what to say about this just just watch quiz fill in the blank edition if you get 7 out of 7, seven, out of you, seven? Are you are a sigma you are a sigma sticking out your giot for the blank sticking out your giot for the blank Now, I don't know, I don't know what sticking out is supposed to mean, but I know what giat means. That means you, you got a big booty. Sticking out your big booty for the, I, I don't know, bro. I truly don't know how to finish this sentence. I'm going to say for the nice guy that wants to buy me a drink, if I'm a girl, because I am, I'm not sticking my giat for no, nobody as a guy. Just me, me, me. Me, Mr. Shy Guy Ties. I'm not doing that. If you said the Rizzler, you got Skibidi Sigma Riz. The fucking Rizzler. If you said the Rizzler, you got a Skid... Skididi... Ri what did he say? If you said the Rizzler, you got Skibidi Sigma Riz. Skibidi Sigma Riz. What? What is going on, bruh? What is going on? Number two. I'm 5'8 at 16 years old. Am I blank? I'm 5'8 at 16 years old. I am a child, right? If you said cooked, you are goaded. I am. What is it? I am. I'm 5'8 at 16 years old. I am cooked. What the fuck? I'm cooked, nigga. 
I was like, no, nah, I wasn't five eight. I was way shorter than five eight. Ah. Number three, Erm, ah. what the blank? Erm, what the sigma? It's gonna be what the sigma? And that's what that's what my cousin. Went, what the sigma? What the sigma? I'm like, what are you? What are you even talking about, bro? What the sigma? I know it. If you said sigma, you are correct. Fucking sigma. Number four, you're so ski bitty. You're so blank. You're so ski bitty. You're so blank. What the fuck is a bro? What is a ski bitty? I don't know what a ski bitty is, man. I don't know what the hell a ski bitty is. I don't. You're so ski bitty. You're so blank. What are we talking about, bro? This is a whole nother language, literally, bro. You, I don't know. Wait, hold on. Let me, let me, let me make a guess. You're so ski bitty. You're hot. If you said phantom tax, you're a phantom tax. What the f phantom tax? You're so ski bitty. Phantom tax. That means you're. That means phantom's taking food from you, bro. If there's any food in his vicinity. What the fuck does ski bitty have to do with phantom tax, bro? Oh my gosh. You are correct. Number five, boy, it's just blank. Boy, it's just game. It's alcohol. Number six. That's not even how you spell alcohol, bro. What? I can't talk, I'm blank. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I hope he's not gonna say anything nasty. I'm gonna say something nasty because I feel like he's gonna say something nasty. It's either gooning or edging, bro. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say gooning. If you said mewing, you are correct. What the fuck is mewing, bro? What is mewing, bro, bro, bro? I thought I just, I thought I had the lingo, but apparently not. I don't know what the hell mewing, bro. What is that? I'm gonna. Do I even want to look that up? I, I'm gonna look it up on an incognito browser, bro. I don't want this on my search history. What is mewing? Uh, mewing is an inter in interesting craze uh, to change the shape of your jawline or fix a problem. Is that when you just bite down? You just bite down? Mewing is a form of oral posture training. Oh. It was named after Mike and Joe Mule. It totally doesn't say Joe, but it says Joe right now. Okay, that's just you biting your fucking your teeth down to get a jawline. That's not bad. I'm glad it's nothing what I thought. And finally, number seven, I blank all of you. I love all of you. I love every single all of you. It's Mog. Let me know what your the fuck is up. What the fuck is in the all? comments? Okay, I got one out of seven, which is a terrible score, but I don't mind. All that means is that I'm not that cooked. Yeah, you thought that was a great quiz? Thought that was a thought that was a cool quiz because i don't know what bro bro the lingo just keeps switching up on me bro legit my friend showed me this video at work today and he was bro he was i swear he was talking like a whole other language bro he was talking within memes and i understood some of it but a lot of it i was like what the fuck are you saying dude like legit and i i learned it i learned another I, I learned a meme i think skibbity toilet bro Bruh, he was like, skibbity toilet, where is Alabama, Ohio, God. And when we were walking out, like, because I was leaving, I was leaving, and he was showing me the video. We were walking out. I was just saying skibbity toilet. We were saying skibbity toilet, Riz, and when the kids just say skibbity toilet, I was like, oh, my gosh, what the fuck? Uh, next video we got is from the same person, the most famous U.S. president, explained in one minute. I'm so glad. I'm so glad bro is trying to educate the youth. Let's get into it. George Washington. He mm -hmm. was the first president of the United States. Holy shit. Serving from 1789 to 1797. Nice. Washington led the Continental Army to victory during the American Revolutionary that War. That is so true. And played a key role in the founding of the nation. That's he so is true. often referred to as the father of his country. Bro. Another another fun fact, he was so good at his job that he didn't he didn't even want to be the president. Like everyone around him loved him so much that 
they kind of forcibly made him the president. And he was just and he just took it, bro. That's a W leader, bro. He stood up when no when everyone wanted him to. That's a fucking great leader. Abraham Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Lincoln served as the 16th president from 1861 until his assassination in 1865. Damn. He is best known for leading the country through the Civil War, preserving the Union, and issuing the Emancipation Proclamation, Proclamation. which helped hey. to end slavery in the United yeah. States. Thomas Fire. Jefferson. Jefferson was the third president of the United States, mm -hmm. serving from 1801 to 1809. Okay. He is best known for drafting the Declaration of Independence, advocating for religious freedom, and for his role in the Louisiana Purchase, which significantly expanded the territory of the United States. Yeah, John I remember. John F. Kennedy. <laughs> Bro, I remember learning about that. Holy shit. Kennedy served as the 35th president from 1961 until his assassination what in... What the fuck? That is... What? Kennedy... <laughs> Who is this nigga? This isn't John F. Kennedy. Who the fuck is this bald ass nigga? He served as the 35th president from 1961 until his assassination in 1963. He is famous for his inspirational leadership, his commitment to civil rights, and his ambitious vision for space exploration, exemplified by the goal of landing a man on the moon before the end of the 1960s. Mm. George Walker. Okay. Thanks for teaching us something. Mr. Man, besides telling me if my brain is rot, I got one more video from this guy. <laughs> this to fucking explain what the fuck a Sigma is, bruh. Every gen alpha slang explained part one. What the Sigma? What the Sigma? This meme is about Squidward asking, What's the Sigma? has became popular on TikTok and Instagram Reels once a user shared it. And it's believed to have been sourced from a voice message in a conversation between a man and a woman. The woman is heard requesting <gasps> someone who- Oh, I've seen that shit. That nigga said, What the Sigma? <laughs> could be her boyfriend to stop sending her strange messages. Her request is met with a voice message in return. Um, literally stop sending me voice messages because they're not funny. Dude, that sounds like a child. Oh my gosh. Okay. This, this, this Squidward is probably going to sound like a grown man. Oh, what the fuck? Actually. Um, what the Sigma? <laughs> Acoustic. Acoustic, Acoustic is like a TikTok slang way of saying autistic. Yeah, I know, yeah. Autistic, yeah, I know but it's not meant to be as serious or offensive. It's more of a lighthearted term to describe someone acting a bit differently. True. It's kind of funny because it's nothing to do with music, even though it sounds like it should. People on TikTok usually use it when someone does or says something really silly or ignorant. W <laughs> and L. In TikTok w slang, W stands for win, win. and L, L stands loser. for loss. What? These terms are often it's used. It's not even just for TikTok, nigga. Used to describe whether someone succeeded or failed in a particular situation or challenge. For example, if someone accomplishes something impressive, they might be said to have taken a W, while if they fail, they might have taken an L. Bro, that was so. That was so. <laughs> so fucking basic. I mean, I'm not dissing. I'm just saying what I saw, bro. That was so like W and L. W means win. L means loss. A win usually means when someone does something good or achieves a high goal. A loss is usually when someone does bad and achieves nothing. <laughs> like legit. Good shit though, man. I'm sure the views are coming in, so you're all good. You're all good. Next video we got. It's from your boy, Mr. Breast. I mean, Mr. B6000. $10,000 every day you survive in the wilderness. And the views just fucking went up. Holy shit. Skyrocketed up, boy. 83 million fucking views. Oh, my gosh. I see Zaxby's. Oh gosh, yeah, this nigga's going crazy. Let's get into it. I just dropped these two strangers off in the middle of the wilderness. These two guys have never met each other in their entire lives. Nice you, Every day, the two of you survive in this wilderness. I'll give you ten thousand dollars. Hope you bought enough money, man. We're here for the long run. Hey, put that camera down. Let's head out. All right, take care, boys. This video can make you guys millionaires. He's gonna be poor by the time we're out of here. <laughs> I'm Hayes. Hayes, I'm Grizz. Nice.
nice to meet you, man. We love the confidence. We love the confidence. And Chris? Yeah. All right, you're gonna be my best friend for I the know. next however long. Starting now, these guys receive $10,000 every day, with the only limit being how long they can survive, which theoretically means they could win unlimited money. Dude, if we stay here, we're both. Bruh, Mr. Beast is like a rich kid with so much money that he just starts like betting the poor to do just crazy shit, bruh. There's an episode, he's like Jake from Adventure Time. There's an episode where Jake just gets a lot of money and just starts asking people to do the weirdest shit, bro. That's literally what Mr. Beast does. But every time he does it and makes a video, he gets more money. That's fucking crazy, bro. Good job, Jimmy. You've done awesome, bro. From worst intros to this, holy shit, my boy. Multi-millionaires. We are trying to find a camping spot, build a fire, survive the night. I guess we should just set up camp here. For the rest of the night, they gathered wood and went through their supplies. We've got approximately five days worth of food, two things of water. It looks like a change of clothes, some warm jackets, and boom, fire starter. Let's see if we can get a fire going. Oh, yeah. We are good. Let's make beds out of pine needles. It won't be comfortable, but at least we won't freeze to death tonight. Ooh. We're alive. Day two. And in the morning, I showed up to give them their first $10,000. Boys, how was the first night? It's cold. It's been 24 hours, and I didn't walk over with 10 grand. You're not going to ask? Yeah, I guess we should, right? Yeah. Okay, just look up. Oh, my. Yo, are they going to drop that bitch? Oh, no. Oh. Every 24 hours, we're going to drop $10,000 out of a plane for you guys. There's $10,000. In a parachuted briefcase. Catch it, don't catch it. do watch out. Bro, this is crazy. Bro, we're going to be so rich by the end of this video. And on top of that money, <laughs> this is your flare gun. Oh. Okay, well, shoot it up in the air. The challenge ends for the both of you. And you walk away with the money you've won. So how long should we stay out here? Three point six million for the year is crazy. All right, the plan is officially <laughs> a year. We're going to split this in two. You get this. Yes. I get this. Now we can't screw each other over. But later in the Yo. Oh my gosh. Imagine they actually lasted for a year. That'd be fucking crazy, bro. This video, that plan doesn't exactly work. All right, I feel bad, but I need to steal that flare gun. I just got to shoot this thing and I get to be a dad again. If you fire that This nigga, oh, he's missing his kids and shit. Ah, oh, damn, bro. Damn. Flare, I literally think I'm going to kill you. Well, buddy, he's ready not to get rich. Absolutely. By day three, you could say the boys were pretty tired of sleeping on the ground. <laughs> so after another 10 grand, they started work on building their shelter. Gonna use my jacket to gather pine needles and layer them on the shelter. All right, I found this metal piece from a kid's swing set, and I think it's gonna work great for the roof of our shelter. Layer one on. Boom! Here's a section that we're working on. You can see it's got some structural poles. We get to use the parachutes and the cord, so we're gonna make a rain cover on our shelter. Everyone thinks probably that I'll be the reason we leave and fail this challenge. But this money would mean college for the kids. And then on day four, they started looking. And I really miss my kids, so I might lose a challenge for my kids because I miss them, baby. I miss them so much. For a water source. Oh, there's a swamp. I would feel safe boiling that. Yeah, we got to be careful because that stuff is full of bacteria and parasites. Mm -hmm. Ooh, just a touch of the swamp. <laughs> All right, we're going to bed. Hopefully, Chris snuggles up because it's cold and he's big and warm. This is like the third day in a row that we've gotten two hours of sleep. It's been so cold. If it rained right now, we'd probably have to go to the hospital. But I'd do it for $10,000. Yeah. And it wasn't just the freezing temperatures. That Money will make niggas do a lot of things, bro. And he's, Jimmy is showing us that exact. Yeah, that exact thing. We're getting to them. We're at the end of our supplies. Grizz likes to call it a fast, which sounds so much nicer than starving. And for the next few days, the hunger problem didn't get any easier. We had a, a little square of beef jerky this morning. That's it. Jimmy gave us five days worth of food, and it's day nine right now. These are green briar leaves. Grizz says they're edible, I guess. Mm. Damn, they've really been, like, prolonging their food service, bro. He said they gave them five days worth of food, and it's day nine. Yeah. It was clear by this point that the boys were extremely hungry. But lucky for them, I had a surprise waiting for them on day 10. They've officially survived 10 days. <laughs> Here's your briefcase. Yeah. And don't leave. This is where the challenge gets interesting. Bring in the helicopter. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm nervous, dude. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, that I'm excited about. Uh -huh. To celebrate day 10, we have your first offer. I can tell you guys are tired of eating leaves. So I brought you guys an additional 10 days worth of food, spices, two tarts, and everything you would need to fix. 
Is it gonna take? He's gonna take off like ten grand or some shit, bro. I already know it. All of this for fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand dollars, nigga. You better say no, bro. Some beef jerky. Yes. Don't eat it yet. Oh. These beans look good. Oh, absolutely. Oh, coffee. coffee. We're gonna give you space. I'll be back in ten minutes. This, he's not kidding. Like this is literally all the things we would need to fish. Fifty grand. Fifty grand. They don't take this deal. I mean, they're kind of stupid. Ten days worth of food means they make hundred grand, and they only have to pay fifty grand for it. I'm doing them a favor. Should we talk to him now? Yeah. All right. Okay. Um. First off, Mr. Peace, I, I don't think they're stupid, you know, if they don't say yes. I feel like they're just choosing their own path, you know? Yeah. Second off, there's a creepy little van right here, and I am uncomfortable now. All right. All right, Jimmy. If you make a decision in the next 60 seconds, I'll throw in two fish for bars. Yes. Let's do it. Oh, you still have 59 <laughs> more seconds, but okay. Here, I'll put that in the pile of food. Thank you for the 50 grand. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the food. Does oh, this, the way, you also bro, does this nigga just carry around his own chocolate, bro? I don't, I don't diss it. That is just hilarious. Nigga's like, get the, crate with it. the modern day Willy Wonka, bro. Definitely a deal we had to say yes to, but that week of food literally cost as much as my kids' college tuition. Hello! Hey! Bro, I still can't believe it every time this money falls out of the sky. The food from the crate will feed them for 10 days, but if they want to survive out here for a year, all right, the plan is officially a year. They'll still need to find more food in the wilderness. So some of you may be wondering, why have they not caught fish? Well, the swamp nearby has no fish in it. What we really need is a moving water that we can fish in. And while Hayes was rambling on about his kids, and my two-year-old doesn't sleep very well either, so this happened. I think being a dad, <gasps> what is this? <gasps> this is a creek. This is not a swamp. This is actually moving water. There's fish in here. Dude, look at this. It's like a dock. This Bruh, I ain't no like river expert or like a water entrepreneur or some shit bro but that water looks still as fuck bro i don't know if it's just the 14 days he's been out there but that shit is not i mean it's paused right now but like when it starts playing that shit is not moving to me this is the perfect place for food and shelter <laughs> and after another few days full of a surprise freezing rainstorm Ooh, man. At least now we have a hundred thousand dollars. They decided to move and upgrade their shelter near their newfound water source. Good morning, Grizz. How are you always up earlier? <laughs> We're gathering up a bunch of dead trees we can use for our structure. And then we balance them together into an A-frame shape and cut the trees to the right length. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. I'm glad I broke your fall. <laughs> sorry. All right, so maybe they had a bit of a false start. But once they got the structure back up, they spent the entire next day putting their finishing touches on their shelter. They even built a fishing dock to help them catch more food. Dock's done. Pleasantly surprised. And now all we got to do is catch a fish. Hey. Yeah. That right. shit was moving. Well. That shit was moving too, bro. I was wrong. Because without sleeping bags, the winter night was still unforgiving. What a really cold night. Cold toes, cold feet, no sleeping bag. So I think I knew what my next offer was. It's day 20 and they moved super deep in the woods, so now we have to get there by boat. Do you hear that sound in the distance? What'd you say? Is that a boat? Any minute now when we find them, I've got a fun offer for them. How's it going, boys? Hey, hey guys. Hey. What's going on? Two things. First, the plane needed maintenance, so I'm delivering this by hey, hand. Hey, all right. $10,000, which puts you guys at $140,000. And second, we have an offer for you. Ooh. Reveal your offer. Just go ahead and take it off. Here it is. Ooh. Oh. You can either give me $10,000 for that red sleeping bag or give me $50,000 and you get both sleeping bags. What? Five times Damn. the amount for both. Oh, man. Can I take it out? Yeah, we should look at it. Yeah, check them out. Hang on, I just gotta do this. <laughs> <laughs> These are the same sleeping bags we used in Antarctica. They work very well. Here's the weather forecast. It's going to get pretty cold next week, so yeah. highly recommend you at least buy one. When we started <laughs> this thing out, we were in the 20s without anything. Uh -huh. We've adapted to it. We have bedding. We have pine straw. We're doing pretty well in these low temperatures. I would love to have a sleeping bag, but $50,000 is... I sleep closer to Grizz than I do my wife, so <laughs> I'm oh not even God. kidding. You're actually going to say no to both? a really cool night. No sleeping bag. 
Yeah, so I think uh, I think it's final. We don't want it. Yeah, agreed. Wow. Hey, Not good even teamwork. A sleeping bag. All right, boys, close it up. Sure, the boys could survive without sleeping bags, but that didn't solve their food problem. I feel like one sleeping bag would have been fine. You can get one sleeping bag and cut it open, and then you both share it. I feel like that was a good idea. That would have been a good idea. Between sitting out rainy days, the boys got into a bit of a routine where they would boil water, work on their shelter, and try to catch fish, which wasn't really working out for them. We got some guts for bait. We're going to cast them out, and uh, hopefully the fish come up off the bottom of the creek. Day after day of failing to catch any fish. Let's go check the lines, see if any catfish are on. They finally caught a wind in their sails. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh, or whatever that abomination of oh, Mother shit. Nature was. What is that? <laughs> Whoa. Can I eat it? First like fish. an eel. It's it looks like an eel, bro. Eel. Uh, yeah. I think I'm going to charcoal grill it. We're going to have ourselves some American-style unagi. This is the first thing that we've caught out here in 27 days, which is insane. We're happy to have it, and we're going to make it delicious. I don't know if this is what I would call delicious, but the fact that they haven't had a fresh meal really? in almost 30 days means even a rock would taste good to them at this point. It's excellent. It's so good. <laughs> it's really, this is just, like, amazingly good. If we keep catching fish like this, we can easily stay for a year, bro. Dude, yeah. $3.6 million. Good night. And on day 28, they started... $3.6 million sounds awesome. ...constructing their raised bed system in their new shelter. So it's going to be two tripods. One, two. Side rails going down. Slats across. And then a nice... Pine needle mm. mattress made out of parachutes. And after Fire seeing their production. new shelter become more and more comfortable, I was starting to get worried that I was going to have to pay these guys millions of dollars. The only regret that I have, they're not bunk beds. Uh, <laughs> that's honestly an L. They were betting everything on their new shelter being right next to this creek. But that may have been a huge mistake. Uh -oh. Because they couldn't catch another eel to save their lives. And the water's looking <sighs> high. At this point, I've spent more time in the wilderness than I have with my newborn son. I also have a two-year-old with my wife alone. Yeah, this nigga sounding like he's trying to fold so quick. You explain to a two-year-old that daddy's going to be gone and he won't talk to you and he won't call you and he won't see you. Say they were you just say offer. those exact words. Daddy's going to be gone. He won't call you. He won't talk to you. He won't see you. But daddy's coming back with whatever to divide it by $3.5 million. Is. What would be something that you would actually buy? We spend a lot of time out here trying to get firewood. You know, having firewood dropped off would be... Bruh, really that's nice. like a CSGO-ass knife, bruh. Holy shit. Out here trying to get firewood. <laughs> it's like a fucking... A karambit. Not a karambit. It's like the long knife. I forgot it's called. Bayonet or some shit like that. Wood. What it looks like. You know, having firewood dropped off would be really nice. Ass, I'd probably pay $10,000 for that. We are literally in the middle of the forest. I couldn't tell you where we are anymore. All right. How's it going, boys? Doing great, man. How are you? As a reward for surviving an entire month, I brought you a store. Ooh, okay. Hey. You see, we come through all of your vlog footage, and we wrote down everything you've asked for, such as firewood, a shovel, cooking supplies, bedding, and even books and board games. It's like a mm. dollar store, but everything costs 10 grand. Ooh. That's not bad. This is your store? Feel free to shop. We've won 240 grand. Might as well check it out. What are these? Those are mosquito nets. Oh, oh we'll God. use parachutes. We don't need those. All right, what about the hammocks? I like the hammocks, but, you know, we haven't tried making them out of parachutes yet. All right, guys, answer <laughs> this. What can you not make out of parachutes? A lot. All right, well, do you guys want the firewood? How much so, wood? That's the wood you get. Oh, damn. It, it came with unlimited wood. I would buy it. I offered them literally everything they could possibly need here, and they still weren't interested. I was beginning to think these two were secretly Navy SEALs or something. Are you guys going to buy <laughs> literally anything? You make 10 grand a day. What's another 10 grand? I got to say no. A All day? Right. A not even a board game, bro. I thought they would say no to everything. Next time, I'm going to convince you two to spend money. We're looking <laughs> forward to it. Yeah, man. See you, Jimmy. There he goes. In his tank stop right here i have a special surprise for all of you nolan what does this look it's like an ad. a lot of oh, phones shit. a thousand phones to be exact because over the next seven days i'm going to be giving a thousand random people that subscribe a free samsung galaxy s24 i literally spent over a million dollars on these phones and i'm giving them away to you all you have to do to enter to win one of these phones is subscribe it's literally free I oh gosh everything you guys have been doing for the channel it means the world yeah. to me subscribe win one of these phones let's go and so they continue without any of the tools for my offer but go figure for the next promo. few days they weren't able to catch any fish and even though the money kept coming 
They were running out of food and time to catch it quickly. I am on the last belt loop. I think that we have maybe two days worth of food left. That's not good. Without a boat, this creek is not productive. We got to go to that river. If I can get to that river and the fishing is good, that'll turn all this around. And with their rations running dangerously low, their only hope at getting food was to travel through the swamp to the river on the other side in hopes of catching some fish. It's risky wasting all these calories, but I have to do it oh, if shit. we're gonna make it any further. But after a grueling hike, Hayes finally found what he was looking for. Oh my God, woo! <laughs> Look at that, it's the river! Is that not the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen? It's pretty. Yeah, it's really pretty. Finding this river is probably the difference between us making our goal and us tapping out early. Fortunately, he had a secret weapon. Grizz and I made our own fishing pole, and this is going to make catching fish easy. Push. Oh, my God. It broke. With makeshift Bruh. fishing pole immediately breaking, he was going to have to use his hands, and oh he spent God. hours trying. Oh, uh, no. No. That is a trap. He couldn't catch any fish without immediately dropping them. The calories burned coming here would have been for nothing. But just when he was ready to give up, this one's gonna be it. Ah, yeah! Holy moly! Holy oh, shit! Yeah, oh shit! Got a big one. <laughs> Damn! The didn't stop there. I cannot wait to bring this back to Grizz. He's gonna be so stoked. <laughs> oh, he's going crazy. That boy's going crazy. Feels like this is our first real food in ages. He's the fucking provider, bro. And Grace is just sitting down, waiting to, to cook up the food that Honey made or Honey caught. Ah. Oh. But in the meantime, I was preparing an offer that I know they couldn't refuse. It's day 40. They've made over a third of a million dollars, and I have an incredibly special offer for them. For $10,000, and Peaceable. I think you're so really going to like it. You <laughs> both can see your wives. In fact, they're watching right now. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Yes, oh man. I can't let down my kid. I know. I can't yeah, let nigga said they're both watching right now. Oh, yeah. I understand. I understand. <laughs> quick fold. The quickest fold they ever did. So bad. Aww, cute. As nice as it was to see their families, the visit was also bittersweet because there's one big question on everyone's mind. Yup, now they're like, fuck, I saw my family. I'm going to miss them, bro. That shit was Loki a weakness, bro. It was a pro and a con at the same time, bro. It was hidden in disguise. How long do you want us to stay? I want you home now. Ah, see, it was a fucking pro and a con, bro. Like, I do. I know you want me home, but do you need me home? Yes, she needs you. Yes, you need to bond with your son. Bruh, this is so fucking dramatic. Oh my gosh. They got these niggas sitting down on the couch. Night, night. Oh gosh, the stutter was crazy. Whoa. The stutter was crazy, bro. I've never stuttered that bad before. I'm gonna breathe in, breathe out. Ooh, usa, usa, slow down. It's nighttime. These niggas are sitting on the couch with their babies in hand. A camera is pointing directly at them. They said, don't look at the camera. Just act like we're not here. Go. Great production, Mr. Beast. I don't care what the other guy says. You've made enough money. I need you home. That conversation was so difficult for me. Even so, yesterday was a really good day. It had all of the things that I love. It had my family, my wife, my kids, my buddy Grizz. That was like a really huge gift. Oh, they're gone now. Um, to hold her and know that she was safe, it really has changed the way that I'm viewing this entire challenge. No uh -oh. my support. I want to stay until I have a million dollars. Damn. Grizz and his wife had two different conversations from the other broski, bro. His wife is like, hey, man, dealing with these little niggas by myself. I mean, she didn't say that. I'm just, you know, I'm just paraphrasing. Dealing with these little niggas by myself. It's your heart, bro. I need you to come back. I need you to bond with your son and your, your daughter, bro. He's like, damn, fuck. Fuck, Grizz was there, bro. Grizz is my boy, but like, hey, my my girl, my girl, my number one, man. Fuck. 
And after some much needed family time, Hayes and Grizz were much happier than I'd ever seen them. Hayes and Grizz. 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 Even when something happened that would have totally drained them before. <laughs> By now, they didn't even seem to mind. <laughs> it looks like someone had a gender reveal, and the gender was just money. <laughs> the spirits were high, there was still a problem they needed to solve. In order to get to the river to fish, they would first need to trudge through this giant swamp. But if they had a boat, they would easily be able to float oh down God. the creek to it's the river. Offer a boat. I am building a boat. The idea oh, is to create a frame not? with sticks and then attach our tarp so the whole thing can float. Not feeling super confident in <laughs> the boat build. If we can get down the fish without having to tromp through a whole swamp, it's worth the risk. It's time for the first sea trial of my beautiful ship. Here he goes. Yes. Da, 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 da. Hey! And this was pretty ironic, considering the offer I was about to bring them. It's day 50. Let's see how they're doing. Hey. Day, Bro, you guys have a day 50 is crazy. Holy shit. Now. Wait, are you serious? You built a boat? Yeah, man. You're telling me this thing can actually float. You want to try it? Uh, yeah, I don't. I... Oh, my <laughs> gosh. It actually works. He built a freaking boat in the woods. All right, now that I'm aware of that. This changes a lot of things. It's actually insane that you two built a boat yesterday because I brought the two of you a boat with the Zaxby's oh, restaurant. Zaxby's oh, boat, God. what the this fuck? So cool, Jimmy. Before I present the offer, I want to make sure you're in a really good state of mind. This is our brand new Mr. Beast box, which are now live at every single Zaxby's across America. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that is so good. The Mr. Beast box comes with the best tasting chicken known to man. And the cool part is every <laughs> single meal comes with a Feastables bar. Our goal with this collab was to take the world's best chicken and pair it with the world's best chocolate. Indeed. Zaxby's also has 12 <laughs> sauces. There's like so many flavors happening in my mouth. What is that? <laughs> That's really good. It's a Zax sauce. Look how happy they are. If you want to be happy like them, just go to Zaxby's <laughs> and get the Mr. Beast box right now. Now that you guys have gotten your meals, <laughs> Your day 50 offer is for 50 grand. You can have this boat. W promo, bro. We don't have a motor. We don't have any way to get this thing around. So you just use sticks. Oh, Lord. I don't know. Since <laughs> you weirdly built a boat the day before, I'll give you a discount. We'll make it $40,000. My answer is I love the ship I made. I trust it with my life. So <laughs> I'm going to leave it up to Grant. For $40,000, I'm going to pass on the boat. Yes. I'll get in Hayes' death trap instead. If that sinks, <laughs> and you have to quit. I tried. We appreciate the food. That was lovely. Bye, Jimmy. I'll see you next time. So this shit <laughs> saved us $40,000. Still a death trap. Hey, 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 hey. Man, when we first started this thing, it was in the dead of winter. Do you remember how cold it was? Yeah, now everything is so nice and warm. And spring was now in full bloom. And they Damn. were looking pretty comfortable. There's a lot of flowers here. I can't say that I mind it. What is today? These 51? niggas are enjoying the wilderness, bro. Oh, my gosh, bro. This shit looks so fucking cool, minus the winter part. Winter is a nightmare to deal with outside. But it's springtime. These niggas are literally laying down, smelling flowers, bruh. I'm getting money, bruh. $430,000, dollars bruh. Good, good job, you guys. I lost track. I hear an airplane. Coming in. Where? Oh, he's coming straight at us. This briefcase puts us at four hundred and forty thousand dollars. Time to build the Hazy Grizzle Love Seat. Eighty percent of what we're sitting on here is going straight to my business. In this case. No, I don't want Katie to work twenty-four hour shifts anymore. This money's gonna do so much for her and our family. But while the warmer weather was nice, it presented new problems like snakes. snakes. Don't want to get bit by that. Yeah. And rats. Oh, Every oh. night. Oh my God. And it wasn't oh my long God. until the lack of sleep started to make them irritable. Uh, looks like Hayes is struggling to get over here. Hayes, do you need my help? What does it look like? You want to paddle up river into the wind? Hayes, why don't you go get those uh, fishing lines fixed? You know what? You shut your mouth when you're talking to me. Whoa. She's angry. Can you check those lines while you're over there? What do you think I'm doing? I don't know. I was just asking. Thank you for telling me to do what I'm already doing once again. Oh, this nigga just turned into an asshole, bro. Very angry. Keep in mind, at this point, Hayes and Grizz were very close friends. But Hayes <laughs> had reached the end of his rope, and the jokes just weren't hitting the same anymore. <sighs> for sure. This idea about how this would unwind is not working, obviously. Because nope. it's a stupid idea. Hayes, I'm sorry, buddy. I did not know I was actually pissing you off. I thought that I did not know that you were actually upset. It's all right. It's not all right. Okay. 
And yeah. so, feeling frustrated, Hayes turned off his camera and paddled down river, Damn. where he set up his camp until the next day. Hayes has uh, set sail, and I think he may have run away. I'll certainly be thinking about him. I know it's supposed to be cold at night. He's not back in a couple days, so I'm going to have to go looking for him. Let's do something to cheer him up. So we got a huge board over here that was left by Jimmy at the last beast drop, and I'm going to repurpose it into a table with some of our cases. This is its actually pretty sturdy. Hey. And when Hayes returned home, he was not empty-handed. Sounds like Hayes has returned from his great adventure. Nigga's got hella fish. Ah, I'm fucking do it. Nice. I'm fucking do it. Oh, those are sea trout. I'm pretty wiped out. Mind if I take a minute? No, man. Do your thing. Chris. Yeah, buddy. What's this? It's our table. We have a table? <laughs> He's so happy. Oh, man. <laughs> I figured that perks him up a little bit. This is a $100,000 table, Grizz. <laughs> Welcome back, buddy. Feels good to be home. Come on. <laughs> With their survival needs met and their friendship restored, oh. one question still remained. How long will they stay? We gotta have a serious 65. conversation. Yeah. Holy shit. The end. Hmm. Honestly, I'd have been done five days ago. Maybe push like an extra week. I mean, hell, that's a thirty-five thousand dollars each. If I pulled that flare on day seventy, how would you feel? I would feel uh, uh, really let down and mm. lied to. Mm. I propose at day seventy we have a conversation, decide if we're gonna push further. That's fair. I promised Grizz that I would stay longer for him, but I'm not happy about it. <laughs> Morning, guys. So Hayes has been. A little upset. I'm seeing it. He's keeping to himself, you know, so I'm a little worried about him. Spoken to Grizz about it. He wants me to stay longer. He's kind of pushing me to stay longer and stay longer. At some point, I gotta stop being wilderness guy and go be dad. Another day. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, 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 no, no, no. I knew that was gonna happen. I saw it. Oh, no. <laughs> he is going to check out to the case that has dropped from the sky. Day 70. I'm gonna see if Grizz is good being done today. It would be on day 72. Let's see what he says. What are we gonna do with all this money? I kinda wanna talk to you about that. I'm kinda ready to hit the flare. Oh. What oh, do you think about that? I wanna stay longer. I know that. That nigga's so dramatic. It wasn't, actually, it wasn't even dramatic. That was perfect timing. Good shit. That you've gotta pull. Away from this thing with family. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. We've talked about it a thousand times. I just want to know how you feel about it today. Yes or no? Can you go one more day? Give yourself 24 hours just to kind of feel I, it I out. I thought a lot about it, but you want to go another day? Let's go another day. Oh, he's not happy about that. How's it going, boys? How are you, buddy? Good. Let's go on a little walkie walk. We can go over here. Let's say Hayes isn't a part of the equation. Yeah, 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 yeah. How many more days do you think you could survive out here? Let's call it 45 days would okay. probably be as far as I'd go. How many do you think he has left in the tank? <sighs> he yeah, talks yeah. about it every day. Oh, How often shit. do you think about shooting the flare? Every day. <laughs> What's up, you? That is crazy. How often do you think about shooting the flare? Every day. He sounds like a fucking drug addict, bro. <laughs> at this stage grizz you know he wants to make a million dollars and it's hard to say no to that i have an obligation to him too but it's starting to go towards family yeah yeah when you do shoot that flare that's gonna be crazy oh i can't wait <laughs> Just okay last night uh -huh. i don't want to disappoint grizz but all right i think i'm done Thought it would be cool to to come back here to our first camp where I was shoulder to shoulder with Grizz every single night. <laughs> and after that, it was like, all right, dude, we're brothers now. I expected to walk away with a lot of money. I didn't expect to walk away with like a friend for life. Aww. And that's so meaningful <laughs> to me. <laughs> oh, that's about. so fucking cool. We didn't even get to see them bond for real, bro. What's right for me and my family? Hayes got so oh, desperate that so he literally emotional. went into Grizz's bag and stole the flare gun, Damn. even though it was his idea to separate it into two parts. So at this point, all I have to do is shoot this thing. Uh oh. And I get to be a dad again, you know? I know this thing is, is very challenging. 
what we're doing out here is not easy. Mm. I really truly do believe that you're doing what's right for your family. I disagree. You're providing for them in a way that's no, going to change their lives. Now, that's facts. It's gone the other way. No, no, no. I feel, I feel with Grizz, bro. I, I agree with Grizz, bro. If you come back with a million dollars, your wife, you've left her for 74 days. I understand, like, you both want to see each other ASAP, but... You're thinking extremely short term and not long term, bruh. You don't have to work another day in your life if you know how to use your money correctly, bruh. It's going to be so hard for you to fucking spend a million dollars, bruh. Oh. How does this unfold? This is this is getting super dramatic, bruh. I'm getting invested in these characters, bruh. Now, Good job, Jimmy. I think I need... I need to be there. I think that you've been really upset and you've been missing your family really bad. I, f I feel like I think the money doesn't matter. The money doesn't, the, the money doesn't matter to me anymore. And really the only thing that's keeping me here is, is you. Aww. And I'm sick of it. Yeah. Sick of me? My family needs me too, you know. And you're very good at, you know, manipulating. Oh, I knew that nigga was gonna say that. <laughs> he's he's like, fuck, what do I do? So confused. <sighs> It was clear that in this moment, Grizz was going to have to make a decision. Convince Hayes to continue surviving in these woods for more and more money, or be there for his friend when he needed him the most. Mm. I can't imagine having gone through this experience with, with anyone else. I mean, oh. I really do like, I genuinely think you'd be like a brother, <laughs> you know? I'm sorry that I've just pushed you on and on and on. I just don't want to let you down. You're not letting me down. No. Yeah, you know. Brothers don't let each other down. No. This is the way it is. Ah. Everything. <laughs> everything's got to come to an end sometime. Oh. Ah. See that player. I owe you this. And to be honest with you, I'm sorry that it's taken so long. Mm. I think it's time for us to do this thing, buddy. Oh. Four days later. Damn. Crazy. Yes, they look crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't left these woods in 74 days. Dude, I'm so ready. One final surprise. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Hi, Tommy, baby! Aw, cute. Wow. <laughs> so cute. Ah! In 74 days, they've won $670,000. And in case you forgot, we're giving away a thousand Samsung phones to random people that subscribe in the next week. So don't forget, <laughs> press that subscribe button right now. W promo, W video. Good fucking job, Jimmy. Holy shit. 74 days? 74 days? Nigga? Oh my gosh. I don't know if I could do some shit like that, bro. I would love to try, but I don't know how far I would get. Like, honestly. Great video, bro, from Mr. Beast himself. Fire production, as always. The next video we got is somewhat around the same topic. I don't know. No, no, no. I do know. It's somewhat around the same topic. Losing weight is easy, actually. Boom. Those niggas were talking about calories. Here's a calorie video. Let's get into it. People usually think losing weight is about half diet and half exercise, but both of these combined are only about 25% of it. Mm. Another 25% is good quality sleep, and the other 500% is actually doing what you said you would. Oh, Luckily, shit. if you start a diet right now, there is a way, an easy way, to make it almost impossible to fail. Step one is to get inspired. There's mm. always a spark that makes you decide you want to change. And it's usually seeing someone else who's way more fit than you. <laughs> or seeing Bruh, that's in a so fat. That's so facts, bruh. Legit. Sure. Either way, inspiration is strong, but only ever lasts for a day. Mm -hmm. And then it's gone. So what you need next is a realistic goal that you can measure, mm -hmm. as well as the time you need to achieve it by. Mm -hmm. For mm -hmm. example, I'm doing, I, I'm doing that same exact thing, bruh. I'm like 150 right now. 
by the end of the summer, I want to be 150. I want to gain weight, not lose weight. So this video is kind of, it's kind of irrelevant to me right now. Oh, shit. I'm just not realizing that. Well, if you want to get your summer body, summer, summer body ready and you need to lose weight, I, I've, we're watching a perfect video for you. But if you're trying to gain weight, I, I fucked up. Sorry. Sorry. I fucked up for the both of us. I'm going to lose five pounds by July 1st, and another five pounds by August 1st is something you can measure, and it even has a checkpoint to keep you motivated. Then, the next thing you need is a detailed and realistic plan that will get you to your goal. The plan might just be to replace your daily breakfast of milk, sugary granola, and a peanut butter jelly sandwich with instead a one-mile jog followed by a bowl of 15 big strawberries and three boiled eggs. Mm. Believe it or not, this one change is more than enough for you to lose multiple pounds of fat in just a few weeks. I mean, yeah, that but makes having the plan is not sense. enough. You need to set everything up so that you can easily follow the plan. You have to buy the strawberries and boil the eggs the night before and get your running clothes ready so that when you wake up, the easiest thing to do is to just stick to the plan. Bro, I mean, you can do this if you want. There's a lot of different ways to do the exact same thing. And I this, I guess this is one of the ways. <laughs> you guys can't see it, but he got some, some little socks and some little shoes right here. <laughs> if you don't boil the eggs, and you keep buying peanut butter and grape jelly, and you keep putting them at the front of the fridge, where it's the first thing you see then that means you don't actually intend to stick to your diet. Mm. You're just looking forward to that one day when you give in and make your high-calorie breakfast again. If you want to make it easy to eat healthy, then make it hard to eat junk food. Mm. Of course, that's easy to say, but no matter how much you try to avoid even looking at junk food, you need to expect that there will be hard times. Like when you accidentally trip and fall face-first into a booth at IHOP, <laughs> you see that every item is over a 1,000 calories, and you get the temptation to say five of the most dangerous words in diet history. You can pick from any of the following options. A. One cheat meal won't hurt. B. I'll actually start dieting tomorrow. C. I just won't eat later. Or D. Maybe I'll just start bulking. And it's times like this when you need willpower, which is the ability to tell yourself no. no. You can yeah. build up your willpower by anticipating all the excuses you're going to make and practicing saying no to all of them. Mm. You can even practice walking away from bad choices. Mm. But keep in mind that willpower isn't infinite, so you can't always rely on it. You're better off- No, that bitch can be infinite, nigga. Get a strong will! Be a strong person. Stay humble. Yeah. Just avoiding the temptation in the first place. Finally, the real cheat code to motivation is doing something for so long that it becomes a habit. If you can get to the point where you wake up and automatically go outside for a jog, and you automatically reach for the strawberries and boiled eggs, then the plan becomes a hundred times easier to follow. That is fast. it will keep getting easier every day you do it. Eventually, you might even start to like eating healthy and exercising. At which point, <laughs> like for many other people, it's no longer a lifestyle choice, but instead, your entire personality. <laughs> and this is the ultimate goal. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on to the basics of fat loss. There's no real accurate way to track it besides progress pictures and weighing yourself once a week. For the progress pictures, just know that you won't see much change in the first few weeks, True. and maybe yeah. not even in the first few months, because your body first prioritizes losing fat from places that you probably can't see. But once you start seeing visual progress, it starts to become more and more noticeable very quickly. So to really measure your progress, you should weigh yourself maybe once every morning, just know that it could fluctuate a lot based on water weight or mm -hmm. the types of foods you eat, which means you might lose a pound of fat, but your weight might not change right away. So instead of looking at your day-to-day -day progress, just look at your average week-to-week -week progress. Mm -hmm. So you've probably heard that to lose That's fat over tip. time, you have to eat less calories than you burn. That means if your body burns 2,000 calories a day, then eating 1,700 calories a day will make you lose fat. How the fuck do you know how much calories your body burns a day, bro? I don't know that off the top of my head. I don't, know. I don't even know how to find that. That's because the body will use energy from fat and a teeny tiny bit of muscle to help cover the 300 calorie deficit. Also glucose. And if you drop your calories gly, even lower, gly, to 1500 gly, or even gly, 1200 a day, to say that word. you'll lose fat more quickly, but at the expense of it being way more difficult for you to maintain. 
the traditional optimal way to figure out how many calories you should be eating is to use an online calorie calculator. Oh, wow. Activity level sedentary, YLI. And then eat around this number every day as a starting point to lose weight. But it's worth noting that this number can be way off since everyone has a different metabolism. Then what the fuck? Then don't even use that if it can be way off. I mean, I understand a basic, basic, like, premise of what you should and shouldn't do. But, like, if it's not 100%, then why even do it? Uh, uh, Not really. I take, I retract that statement right there actually be off for people with hormonal problems. So the best way to know for sure is to start with this number and then see how your weight changes over the next few weeks. Mm, if you find that each week bit. your weight is not changing, then you need to lower your daily calories by another 200 to 300. And if you ever reach a point where you haven't lost any weight for at least a week, you'll either need to reduce your calories again or you could also just add in some more exercise. Now for some people, this method works perfectly because in theory, you can't go wrong with it. The only problem is you have to count exactly how many calories you eat per day using nutrition labels, calorie counting apps, mental math, and also food scales, which measure exactly how much of each food you're eating in grams. Oh my god! If you're American, you might not be familiar with the metric system. But you don't have to worry since the McDonald's menu already has calorie counts. Oh, yeah. Anyway, you can also just get away with roughly estimating your calories. But this only really works if you play it safe and round everything up like crazy. If you think it's 300 calories, it's probably 500. If you think it's 800 calories, it's probably 1,000. And if you think it's too small to count, it's probably at least 50. So before we get into the method where you don't have to track anything at all, We need to talk about macronutrients. A lot of people want to know how much protein, carbs, and fat they should eat per day. And to be honest, for most weight loss purposes, all you need to look at is calories and protein. You need a certain amount of protein, a certain amount of fats, and then you can fill in the rest of your calories with anything. Just make sure for fats not to overeat stuff like oil, sauces, salad dressings, butter, nuts, and cheese. Because even though these are healthy in moderate amounts, Fats have 9 calories per gram, which means one pack of trail mix has about 3 times the calories of a dying neutron star. What also, the fuck? if you've ever heard weight loss experts say that carbs cause weight gain, they're not talking about fruits and vegetables and fiber and whole grains. They're talking about refined, highly processed carbs that are usually very delicious and are stripped of most, if not all, of their nutrients when they're being processed, especially foods with lots of added sugars. Here are some examples. You'll notice that this is basically the entire grocery store. The problem with <laughs> it these kind is of is, is bro, for real. White flour, white bread, Italian bread, bagels, rolls, buns, wraps, English muffin, even English muffins, cookies, cake, muffins, uh, granola bars. Damn, chips. They lose all their nutrition value. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm actually glad he put this on the screen. Chips are not good for you. I knew that, but like, damn. Instant noodles, they're not good. Smoothies. I love smoothies. Oh, fuck. I mean, candy, duh. Pudding, energy drinks, yeah. Rice cakes, sweetened yogurt. Damn, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? Most pastas. Cornflakes. Oh, I fucking eat cornflakes, too. Sugar instant ramen. I I use the fucking instant oatmeal thing. Damn it. Coffee and fruit bar. Fruit drinks. Okay. I was about to say fruit is crazy, bro. I eat fruit. If I can't trust a fruit, what the fuck can't I trust? Soda, jelly and jam, pizza dough, white flour crackers, waffles, and pancakes. What the shit? I've been lied to. Instead of focusing on avoiding these food, focus on including nutritious foods. And you naturally will eat less of these. Okay, bet. Naturally bet. delicious. Easy to overeat. They have lots of calories, and they just end up making you hungrier. Of course, you can still have them every day, and you'll still lose weight if you're in a calorie deficit. Which is why some people like to brag about how they can eat a family-sized box of Reese's Puffs every day and, and still lose weight. weight. What they don't tell you is that they have an empty void in their stomach for 23 hours a day, their blood work comes back with just a giant crying emoji, and simply adding milk to their cereal 
takes them out of a calorie deficit, so they have to use water. Oh. And that brings us to the method of how to lose fat without counting calories. The number one trick is to just start slowly eating more minimally processed foods, avoiding junk, chips, sugary desserts, stuff with lots of refined carbs, instead swapping that out for fruits, vegetables, lean dairy, lean protein, healthy fats, and whole grains. You'll find that these foods are so filling and nutritious that you can eat in a calorie deficit every single day without having to feel that hungry. Mm. If you don't believe me, this is 200 calories of Oreos, and this is 200 calories of strawberries. Oh my god. Another tip is to just stop snacking and only eat during meals. Most people snack on high calorie, tasty junk food because they're bored, stressed, or thirsty, not That's because facts. they're hungry. So cutting out snacks is actually one of the easiest things you can do since the body doesn't really need them anyway, and over time, you'll just stop getting the urge to snack. Ideally, once this happens, you'll start to slowly develop a feeling of, I'm better than everyone else, which <laughs> should be enough to keep you going till the end of your diet. But in case times get hard, here are some more tips. Number Oh gosh, I go back. Going till the end of your diet. But in case uh drink a lot of water i drink a lot of water never say i'll start tomorrow i don't do that avoid liquid calories okay uh low carb swap zero carb <sighs> high volume high f okay okay this is it's not good three to five meals a day what the fuck avoid things oh, okay saving Biggest meal for hungriest times, eating more proteins, protein powder slash water. Ooh, that's bad for you. Look at that. Black coffee slash tea. Tea? What? Diet tips slash hacks. Avoid things you already know. Smaller protein size. Okay. Time's I'm confused get hard. now. Here's some more tips. A little bit. Number one, start drinking lots of water. Oh, he's water. going over it. Nice. Water is very filling. Yeah. And half of the time when you're hungry, a quick drink of water will get rid of the feeling. Mm -hmm. Just keep a big water bottle next to you and you'll never forget. Gotcha. This will also prevent you from craving high calorie drinks. That like is soda, facts. juice, bubble tea, and milkshakes. Number two, oh, if dear. you keep saying today doesn't count, the real diet starts tomorrow then it'll never start. Facts. Number three, avoid liquid calories. It's way easier to drink lots of calories in the form of sugary drinks than it is to eat them. Number okay. four, low fat shredded cheese, keto bread, cauliflower rice, egg whites, and even peanut butter powder are low calorie swaps you can make. Number five, you can make healthy meals like this and this taste good with zero calorie condiments and spices and sauces mm. and zero calorie sweeteners, but don't overuse them. Because in general, the tastier your food is, the more cravings you'll get for tasty food. Mm, Number six, facts. use zero-calorie diet sodas to your advantage if you have sweet cravings. Number seven, these are some examples of high-volume, high-fiber foods that fill up your stomach. Oh my gosh, it's watermelon! Oh! I like watermelon a lot, bruh. That sounds terrible, but I really do like watermelon, bruh. Calorie. Number eight, eat around three to five meals a day, since it helps you avoid long periods of feeling hungry, mm. and it's usually easy to fit into your lifestyle. One big meal a day might also work, but people tend to give up on that diet very quickly. Number nine, save your biggest meals for times when you tend to get the hungriest. Number 10, many people find it easy to be in a calorie deficit when doing intermittent fasting. It involves only giving yourself a 48 hour window to eat, and then not eating the rest of the day. It might sound hard, but just know that when you don't eat, you won't just be constantly hungry. Hunger comes and goes in waves. So if you just wait a little bit, the hunger goes away. Number oh my 11. fucking gosh, that sounds... That sounds fucking dire, bro. Dire and extreme. Nigga is literally starving himself. And it's just, it's just repeatedly going in his brain. The hunger's gonna go away. The hunger's gonna go away. The hunger's gonna go away. That sounds like a fucking curse, nigga. From the fucking shaman realm. What the fuck? Eat more protein because protein makes you feel satisfied. And you also burn about 20 calories just to digest 100 calories of protein. Whoa. Number 12. Speaking of protein, protein powder is good, but it's oh, processed. It and uh -huh. it's a powder that you drink. So it's not really as filling as other protein sources. Uh -huh. But if you need it to meet your protein requirements, then drink it with water. 
Number 13. Okay. If you want to, try black coffee or tea since caffeine slightly boosts your metabolism and slightly suppresses your appetite. Number 14. Use But it makes plates. you poop. It makes you poop. It makes you poop so much. So much poop. So much poop, bro. So much. Smaller bowls and smaller portion sizes because it tricks you into feeling full quickly. Number、mm. 15. If you mess up, don't take it as an excuse to start eating tons of junk food because even though messing up wasn't part of the plan, giving up was never part of the plan. Now、mm. on to exercise. It burns some calories, it improves your health, and once you experience what it really takes to burn 200 calories, you're probably less likely to pop open a 200 calorie bag of chips. So here are some tips. Number one, lift weights. This will not only increase your metabolism, but it but will burn calories. It helps you build muscle.、Yeah. You can use this website to get ideas for exercise. Number two, walk more. Getting at least 10,000 steps a day is basically a cheat code for burning extra calories and losing fat. Number three, do more cardio. While diet is more important than exercise for losing fat, cardio will make it easier. If you find、mm-hmm. it boring, you can try high intensity interval training. Or, if you like, you can do circuit style workouts, which you can find lots of on YouTube. That's what、Some、my, that's what my、like、uncle does, bro. He wants me to, my uncle wants me to do this.、Uh, damn it, what is it called? It's a really, it's an Olympic thing. It's like an Olympic sport where you do all the exercises and they have a competition every、um, some year. I forgot what he said, like specifically. But there's this girl who's a fucking beast and she's the, she's the 17th time winner, bro. And I'm gonna be doing that shit tomorrow on Thursday. Oh my gosh, that shit is gonna be so fun, bruh. I love exercising and going outside. That shit is amazing, bruh. Oh, oh my gosh, I can't wait. Claim that 15 minute YouTube workouts don't work. That nigga looks funny. But remember that they watch hour long videos of other people working out. Number four, be less sedentary. Not many people talk about this because it's hard to explain. But getting up and moving around and just doing stuff throughout the day burns way more calories than you would think.、Mm. This includes activities that you don't normally think of as exercise, like taking the stairs, cleaning your house, pressure washing your driveway, cooking, <laughs> fidgeting, standing, walking around, carrying groceries, <gasps> and touching grass. Basically, <laughs> anything、grass. except sitting or rotting in bed.、Yeah. Lastly, a fat loss tip that everyone thinks doesn't apply to them is to get good quality sleep. <laughs> Sleep regulates your hormones, and when it comes to fat loss, these hormones pretty much determine everything. Now, you might be thinking, well, I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> I already get good sleep. Yeah, literally. <laughs> anyway, please donate and subscribe to fund the next video. Aww, that was a sick video, bruh. <laughs> sick video, bruh. He did his thing. He fucking killed it with that video. He had some very good, funny nit bics and like stuff in there. Nit bics, I don't know what a nit bic is, but he had it. And he's banging, boy. Fun, four months ago, and his first video was fucking one million views, bro. Good shit, man. Good shit. <laughs> That was a pretty funny video. Next video we got is. The evolution in movies and cartoons. Oh, Deadpool evolution in movies and cartoons. This part, too. I don't want to say that part. I just want to read the, the nice part right here. Crop this out, and this would be a very nice YouTube. Okay, my brain went, went, went poop. Let's just get into it. Oh, yeah. The movie that I have yet to see still. Deadpool's first on screen appearance wasn't Wade Wilson at all. Really? X Men, the animated series, the Merc with the Mouth appears as a form taken by Morph to taunt Logan. It oh, also appears in visions throughout the series as Wolverine and Sabretooth remember him from their past lives. Ha, <laughs> that's sick. Even Professor X manifests as Deadpool to antagonize Logan in one episode <laughs> when his dark side comes out. That is so sick, bro. Wolverine and Deadpool have such a big, like, back and forth for whatever reason. I don't know, but I love it and it's awesome, bro. They both have, like, the best regenerative healing in the Marvel Universe, I think. Deadpool's being, I think, a little bit better than Wolverine's. In 2009's Hulk vs. Wolverine, 
Deadpool returned as a Weapon X member, hey. sent on a mission to kidnap Wolverine and the Hulk <laughs> as part of his scheme to pit them against each other. He has quite the cartoonish appearance, with a classic red and black and arm to the teeth. <laughs> He's portrayed as a trickster, even more than usual. <laughs> the first live action taste we got of Wade Wilson was an X Men Origins Wolverine. This was not the version of Deadpool people expected. Wait, that's literally him too, bro. He he stayed as Deadpool. Holy shit! I didn't even, bro. I've seen this movie when I was a little kid. I don't even remember this nigga being in the movie. What the fuck? Reynolds perfectly capturing the character. If the wisecracks, the knife play, and the attitude were all there. All that was missing was a certain red and black suit. Yeah, the suit. We even got a messed up, full-blown Weapon 11 version of Wade, who oh, ends gosh. up being the final fight. <gasps> I remember this nigga! I remember this scene! Oh my gosh, I I used to be afraid of this nigga right here. Like, this nigga has no mouth, bro. That was back when they promoted the uh, Wolverine. He had a sword in his hand, even though he has claws. I'm, I think they did that because they didn't know if Americans would fuck with Wolverine. Yes, we like seeing niggas in tights do some cool shit for logan in the movie after having his motor mouth sewn shut head shaved and being given katanas for hands what the as fuck? weapon 11 he's also been gifted the powers of several mutants. damn that nigga was cut back in the day as for hands at damn no homo but this nigga got fucking oh my gosh his abs and his chest and his fucking his fucking triceps are looking awesome bruh What's his fucking workout 11, routine? He's also been gifted the powers of several mutants, including teleportation, laser vision that shoots from his eyes, what? super fast healing, and the ability to control electronic devices. What? It was a cool fight, but this was not the Deadpool people wanted, yeah. even though Reynolds was a hit. In fact, plans for a Deadpool movie had been underway since 2004, with David S. Goyer slated as director and Ryan Reynolds set to star as Deadpool. Of course. Look at that CGI background, baby. That shit was looking amazing in the early 2000s. In 2009, Marvel Studios oh, What The aired and was Marvel's parody of their characters, using stop motion of action figures to tell humorous <laughs> stories involving the heroes. That looks sick. Deadpool was featured regularly in a four year consideration skit for a fictional Oscar. Bro, this looks like it was fucking, it was up for an Oscar. Oh my gosh. Or was he talking about the scenario? I don't even know. But this looks like an Adult Swim, like, little bit, bruh, on Robot Chicken. Deadpool was featured regularly in a four-year consideration skit for a fictional Oscar, a holiday special with Iron Man, and a <laughs> face-off with the Punisher. In Marvel Anime in 2011, Deadpool made a brief appearance as part of the- Marvel Anime. This shit is literally called Marvel Anime dot dot X-Men. Wow. X-Men traveling with Nightcrawler to the aid of the team. He doesn't speak, but the anime art style really suits Wade, yeah, looking it is hard. sleek like a red ninja. Okay. Deadpool also popped up in Yeah, Ultimate, Ultimate, Ultimate Spider-Man. Spider I fucking remember this. I remember this. I remember this so much. It was on TV. They were fucking they were promoting this shit on commercials and stuff. That was this Ultimate Spider-Man is when Drake Bell was Spider-Man. He fucking killed the role. Oh my gosh. What a great show. Go check it out, man. Routine in an episode titled Ultimate Deadpool. In this, Deadpool had once been with S.H.I.E.L.D. and Spider-Man accompanies him on a mission, <laughs> only to realize he oh isn't much of a hero, at least a regular one. There's some crazy back and forth between the two Jokers, <laughs> and both characters break the fourth wall to speak. Bro, I fucking loved, bro, I love this, bro. You don't understand the nostalgia tingles that is coming from me right now. This show was awesome, bro. This show is still fucking awesome, bro. I might rewatch this bitch on Disney Plus, bro. Oh my gosh. Directly to the I'm audience. sorry, I'm gushing, I'm gushing. So it's a I'm great gushing. fit to see them both together on screen. Legit. They tried to blow those guys up. Ugh, guilt over a little spilled guts. It used to be the same. I bet you have a little angel on your shoulder telling you unaliving someone is bad. A second anime appearance <laughs> followed oh in 2014 gosh. with Marvel Disc Wars. The what Avengers. the fuck? Deadpool has Bro, why, why is this nigga doing like the thick squat? What is it? The the Thanos squat and why is he scratching his ass? Appearance followed in 2014. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Disc wait, wait. No, nah, that's totally a thing. The Thanos squat. Thanos squat.
Okay. Thanos SWAT is crazy. Thanos. Thanos Fortnite. Oh my gosh. Thanos, bro, what the fuck? My brain is mush right now. Squatting. Images? Is it anywhere? What is it? Oh my fucking gosh. Don't look up Thanos squatting, bro. Oh, whoa. Don't look up Thanos squatting on YouTube. Not YouTube, but on Google. What's Thanos squatting? Is it Thanos butt? Just look up Thanos butt and you're going to see like him squatting. Bro, it's somewhere. Bro, what the? F okay. Thanos butt is even worse, bro. I don't know what I was even. I don't know why I thought looking up Thanos butt was going to be better. What what image am I, do I have in my head? It's someone squatting and looking hella zesty, bro. I thought it was Thanos. I don't know, bruh. Get this man's ass off of my screen. Towards the Avengers. Deadpool has a crazy scene where his love with chimichangas gets the better of him, and another scene where he's playing a Street Fighter style video game of the Hulk fighting Spider Man. With his love of katanas and martial arts style acrobatics, it's almost like Deadpool is made for anime. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, shit. oh, this is anime anime. This nigga got this in subbed. Ryan Reynolds was born to hey, play Deadpool. There he is again. He'd been longing to play the character since as early as 2014. It was actually because. And ever since Green Lantern was Green Lantern. Deadpool had name dropped him in a comic that he knew he had to play the role. What? Hey, if you. Look like Ryan Reynolds crossed with a Sharpie. Okay, brain mush again. He had a shot in X-Men Origins Wolverine, but that story didn't do Wade Wilson justice. <laughs> so when an opportunity for a standalone movie came along, it had to happen. The movie delves into the backstory of Wade Wilson and completely retcons the character from the Wolverine story. Following an unauthorized <laughs> experiment to cure terminal cancer that grants him rapid healing abilities, Wade embraces the persona of Deadpool. Fueled by his newfound powers and cynical wit, Deadpool embarks on a quest to seek vengeance against the individual responsible for nearly ruining his existence. Damn. The suit is a perfectly realistic representation of the classic red and black from the yeah. comics and cartoons. It's really nice. It even has like the little swoosh that Deadpool has on the top of his head because he sewed it like wrong or he didn't measure it right, but that shit looks awesome. The realistic representation of the classic that wasn't red a and good like the comics and cartoons. picture of it. The film is probably the best direct adaptation of a comic book character ever made. With okay. Reynolds making he's he's stroking it now. It's a really good show. Uh, not a show. Really good movie. But ever made? I mean, it's super it's super good. But ever made? I don't know, bro. I haven't seen every fucking every comic book movie adaptation. Damn, that's a mouthful to say. But once I do. I'll I'll come back and rejudge it. Being sure the For now he's stroking it though. While filming, Ryan Reynolds visited sick kids via the Make a Wish Foundation as Deadpool. Aww. Rich Corinthian leather. I'm looking for faces. Have you seen this man? <laughs> in the same year, Deadpool appeared in Marvel Funko, Funko Pops Pop. presents Chimichangas, Chimichang. going up against Venom in a fight over Mexican street food. <laughs> The characters are designed to look like Funko's signature vinyl bobblehead dolls, but were computer animated rather than stop motion. Marvel TL. What was that description? He literally just read. What the fuck was that? <laughs> what was that description? What the shit? I feel like I could have made that description up. The R was a great self published web series from Marvel that aimed to explain key events from Marvel Comics in bite sized animations. Oh, wow. Deadpool featured in a couple of episodes. Namely, Deadpool, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And what if Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe? Exploring some of his most iconic comic book moments with a simple animation style and casual storytelling. Hey. 2017's Logan, which was a natural end to the story of Wolverine, didn't mm -hmm. have an end credit sequence. Instead, 
It got a short film that played before the start of the movie. And this short starred none other than Deadpool. Damn. Wade Wilson encounters an elderly man being robbed in an alley and rushes to transform into his Deadpool attire before coming to the man's aid. <laughs> While Wilson grapples with dressing inside a nearby phone booth, the assailant fires a fatal shot at the man. Upon emerging as Deadpool, <laughs> oh Wilson fuck? discovers the man lifeless and the mugger vanished without a trace. There's also an appearance in the Marvel shorts that accompanied the Venomverse comic book releases. What the shit, bro? Marvel has so many side, like, side comic or side stories just going on. I didn't even realize it. Where Deadpool appears in his normal form as a claymation of the character before being poised by Venom. This was a minor oh, appearance, shit. but the claymation look makes Poison Deadpool look pure evil. 2017 almost saw the release of a Deadpool animated series. What? With executive almost? producers Donald Glover and Steven Glover at the helm. Unfortunately, it got canceled as Marvel took back the IP from Fox and asserted control over the character Aww. in a different direction. Damn. That looks funny as fuck. It came calling again in 2018 as Deadpool appeared in Marvel's Future Avengers. Deadpool pops up at the Avengers HQ to try to steal Iron Man's new suit plans for Crossbones only to realize Crossbones won't deliver on his promise to give Wade his own anime, eventually <laughs> helping the team bring down the villain. Of course, when he first appears, he's looking through the fridge for chimichangas. Now, I know what you're gonna say. Hey, Deadpool, have a heart, man. <laughs> Lucky me, finding you here. It's... Say yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh my god. In gosh. the 2018 Family Guy episode titled what? Dog Bites Bear, which is actually the 300th episode of the hit show, Peter impersonates Deadpool as Red Stool and parodies that iconic opening scene from the first Deadpool movie yeah. with added crudeness, of course. Oh. The long-anticipated sequel to Deadpool would follow that year, with Ryan Reynolds again pulling <laughs> on the suit. Following the loss of his beloved Vanessa, Damn. wisecracking mercenary Wade Wilson finds himself tasked with assembling a team to safeguard a young mutant named Russell Collins, alias Firefist, from the relentless pursuit of Cable a formidable cyborg from the future. As Deadpool confronts this new threat, he grapples with the crucial lesson of rediscovering the value of belonging to a family once more. During a battle with Juggernaut, Deadpool humorously utters the line, Hey big guy, the sun's getting real low! Referencing the calming mantra used by Scarlett Johansson's character Black Widow to pacify the Hulk in Avengers Age of Ultron. Hey big guy, the sun's getting real low. I didn't even notice Interestingly, that. Johansson is Reynolds' ex-wife. What? He <laughs> thinks that I'm Batman. Deadpool also <laughs> pops up twice in Robot Chicken's tenth Aww, season. There he is. In one sketch, he goes to fourth wall rehab, and in another, <laughs> stars alongside the nerd, teaching him how to break that fourth wall in the way only Deadpool can. In the best piece of superhero marketing Yo! I've ever seen. He reacted to the trailer for Free Guy, a Ryan Reynolds movie. <laughs> That's funny as fuck. ...movie alongside Korg from the MCU. What? I want to see that. I want to see that. That's going to be the next thing we watch, if it's on YouTube. ...you, played by Taika Waititi, who also starred in that movie. This doubled as an announcement that Deadpool was coming to the MCU and being allowed on screen with Korg. In the 2021 Simpsons episode titled, The Dad Feelings Limited, Bart is watching Deadpool on his phone and says, Look. I gotta be honest, I only like movies where Deadpool talks to the camera, so I'm watching Deadpool. <laughs> In 2024, so Ryan Reynolds' Wade Wilson is coming back with a bang. It's the only Marvel movie slated for release in 2024, hey. so we can expect something big from this outing. The multiversal nature of the MCU also promises ways to bring out all of the variants of Deadpool from the comics. Did someone say Dogpool? <laughs> Will Whoa. Deadpool's potty mouth and R-rated level of violence work in the MCU? I hope so. Hey. That was a really nice video. Thanks. He taught me a lot, and now I'm finna use what he taught me. I'm finna watch that fucking Deadpool reacting to Free Guy. Free Guys trailer, yeah. Oh, here it is. It's four minutes. Okay, okay. Ah, ah, ah. Let us get into it. 
movie clip trailer? Okay, whatever. Yes, this is it. This is totally it. Daddy needs to express some rage. Uh huh. Yeah. Hello there, and what's up, Reaction Faction? It's Deadpool. <laughs> Don't forget faction. to smash that subscribe button and follow me on Patreon. Last week, you <laughs> all really liked my Cruella trailer reaction video. Where are the f***ing dogs? So, this week, I'll be reacting to a trailer for a movie which I honestly thought came out, like, a year ago. Free Guy. Apparently, it's this August. We also have a guest reactor this week, Korg who was not my first choice, but apparently <laughs> everyone else was too busy over on Disney+. Plus. Yeah. Say hello, Korg. Hello, made of rocks. Thank you for having me, Paul. Sorry, you're dead. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's take a look. My name is Guy. Oh, he's named Guy, like the movie's title. That's pretty clever. Is it? <laughs> I've got a best friend. This is the greatest cup of coffee of all time. Oh, oh! Mondays, am I right, Joe? You said it, Guy. Let's just pause for a second and let everyone comment first, or this trailer gives away too much, or Ryan Reynolds is just me, which is super insulting, by the way. All done. And I work at the bank. I thought I had everything I needed, but then I met her. Oh, oh Jodie Comer. Oh God, my God. So much. Oh, I hope they don't fridge her. What's what? bridging? Uh, well, it's the practice of killing off or hurting a female character in order to motivate or torture the main character. Also, oh wow, that literally happened to fucking Deadpool. Holy shit! Known as Deadpool too. Thank you yeah, for asking. Yeah, literally. Ah, uh, we call that bridging. <laughs> Everybody down on the ground. Everybody except you. Me. There's something inside you, guy. They expected you to just fall. It's like a hostage situation. More than that. Put these on. Okay. Fine. I oh my god! <laughs> what are these trick glasses or something? It's about trick glasses. The glass tricker. This world, it's a video game. You're not real. Please stop my. Oh god! I'm the guy responsible for this world. Any thoughts on our villain court? Uh, looks like he's got four arms, and the two lower ones have got gloves on. I like them. <laughs> you have a Disney Plus show, don't you? Face. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> He's gotta say so PG. <laughs> Ooh, trademark infringement. Doesn't that mean that nothing you do matters? I am sitting here with my best friend trying to help him get through a tough time. Now if that's not real, I don't know what is. Mm. I know this world is just like, oh, look at him go. That little blue shirt. Oh his face is so punchable. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I love that little blue shirt too. Great guy. Enjoy your lifetime supply of virginity. Off you go. This whole good guy routine is ruining the game. Terminator. Let's take a whitey tea. He seems quite nice, actually. A rabbit. Maybe this is the live action thumper we all haven't been waiting for. Jump! Jump! Jump and catch the ball! No, oh, oh, useless. <laughs> Dad's gonna eat up. Oh. There you go. <laughs> okay, this looks fun in a in a last days of Fox fire sale kind of way. Not sure mm -hmm. if it was worth diverting Canadian Cumberbatch's little mind away from my next movie or Dervadian What the f Cumberbatch? What? Not sure if it was worth diverting Canadian Cumberbatch's little Diverting Canadian Cumberbatch. I don't Understand that joke, but it sounds funny. He said, "Come and Burbatch." Mind away from my next movie, or you know what? I'm I'm gonna give it. Uh, I'll give it four out of five avocados. Cor <laughs> I was fuck? raised by avocados. Oh my god! Just kill me now. <laughs> <laughs> any uh, any tips on uh, getting into the MCU there, Cork? Uh, have a dream. Mm -hmm. uh, chase it. Mm -hmm. Lose that dream, mm -hmm. just sabotage all sorts of happiness in, in the pursuit of that dream. Climb mm. up to the peaks of that mountain, and when you get to the top, land at the bottom and realize you're never going to achieve that dream. Mm -hmm. And at that point, check your emails. Oh. Maybe you'll get something from your agent saying, Marvel wants to talk. Yeah, I prefer Dark World. Half a f***ing penny of you for this sh Oh, nice. That was... Awesome.
thank you for all the tips and tricks from your boy Korg and the nice quips from Deadpool. Got a couple more videos to react to. I have the next video. What is at stakes in this NBA Finals? Let's get into it. The current precedence of the NBA is that there are no dynasties in the league. True. And thus, there is an opportunity for a new dynasty to emerge or for a gridlock era to take place. As it nah, the Spurs is crazy, bro. One of my friends goes crazy for the Spurs. <laughs> Why? What's up with this clip art version of Michael Jordan and fucking Magic AIDS, Magic Johnson? Boom. In the mid-2000s, after Kobe and Shaq split, allowing for a number of NBA teams to win it all in an unpredictable fashion. Where is the Miami Heat era, bruh? Come on. Chris Bosh? D-Wade? Fucking LeBron James, bruh? That totally has to be up here. That's, to me, a little bit more legendary than the Spurs. Even though I, I no disrespect to the Spurs. But if anyone could go, I mean... You gotta respect the old heads. You gotta take out the Spurs. Allowing for a number of NBA teams to win it all in an unpredictable fashion. But let's not put the cart before the horse. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. Let's hone in on the specific matchup. The Dallas Mavericks versus the Boston Celtics. Mm -hmm. The Mavs have only faced the Heat in the finals before, but only one team is truly in the hot seat, and that is Boston. The Celtics indeed are in the hot seat far more than the Mavericks are, mainly in the sense that one, most of this core has been to the finals before in 2022. Yes, some pieces are different, but the top players are the same. And this time, the Seas are facing an opponent who, for the most part, have never been to the finals, aside for Kyrie Irving. This doesn't yeah. mean the Mavs are complete underdogs, like how last season we had the 8th seeded Miami team go up against the Nuggets. The Mavericks indeed do have pressure to win it all too this year. Kyrie Irving is 32. As he gets older, he will be oh, exiting shit. his prime. He will still be a high level player, but if we're talking absolute peak prime from a physical standpoint, this is the part of the mountain where you are still pretty high, but you're definitely starting to descend lower. Mm. Also, how many times is Luka going to completely avoid the Nuggets on his path to the finals? Interestingly enough, Luka and Jokic have never faced in the postseason ever. Had this happened, who knows if the Mavericks would have made it this deep. Again, how many guarantees are we going to get where Luka avoids the Nuggets in the postseason? While the Mavericks certainly had a harder path to the finals, avoiding the... This music sounds like Sonic music. Nuggets and getting the Wolves, despite what the matchups might tell you, was their preferred opponent. But more importantly, you can easily say the same, if not worse, for the Celtics. In each playoff round, they faced a heavily... <laughs> what the fuck? Why they have to put this picture of Jimmy Butler? Oh my gosh. Injured, Eastern Conference opponent. They beat a Jimmy Butlerless Heat team, then a Cavs team without Jared Allen, and then that same Cavs team lost Donovan Mitchell towards the end of the series. And then they beat the Pacers with Tyrese having a hamstring injury that kept him out of game four. And even if the Pacers were healthy, that team was too inexperienced and just got done beating a heavily injured Knicks and Bucks team. When the Celtics and Mavericks faced off twice during the regular season, the Celtics won both games quite handily. You can argue that the Mavericks have the best player on the court out of everyone's roster, but they mm -hmm. are top heavy. The Celtics are the far deeper team, but the Celtics also get passive at times. They are their own worst enemies. Mm. Of course, the regular season isn't always a good measuring stick for how they will perform in the finals, but it is something we can at least start with. It is fair to say that the Celtics have not been tested at all during this playoff run, which is why there's no excuse if they lose to their next opponent in the finals. In the same token, they can't choose their opponents. They came, they saw, they conquered Ooh. and took care of business. There's still one job left, the most important job, to beat their finals opponent. Speaking of opponents, both Kyrie Irving and Kristaps Porzingis will be facing their old team. Kyrie once played for the Celtics and there was drama there that ended it, and Kristaps once played for the Mavs and that didn't work out too well. Either player is going to get revenge on their former team. Except that's I guess. if Kristaps plays because he already missed the playoffs so far due to injury. With Jalen Brown winning the Larry Bird Eastern Conference Finals MVP award, if the Celtics win it all, 
this is an example that finals MVP isn't necessarily a lock for Jason Tatum. So if Brown wins finals MVP as well, Jason will still be looked at with some sort of asterisk on his career. Not that he should play selfishly <laughs> either. I'm sure he would rather win a ring and not the finals MVP than lead his team statistically but lose the series. But of course, deep down, I'm sure he would prefer both. And then there's the question on ESPN's mind. How would this 2024 NBA Finals impact LeBron's legacy? Oh. If Kyrie gets a second ring, he will prove that he can win a ring without the need of a point forward that has the body of a forward but the skill of a guard who averages nearly 27, 7, and 7 and can easily get triple doubles. Wait a minute. If Kyrie wins a ring, this is proof of why the Kyrie and LeBron duo worked and why the Kyrie and Kevin Durant duo did not work. Luka, like LeBron in many ways, is a versatile player <laughs> who can both run the point and score if need be. While Kevin Durant is certainly talented, I don't think it'd be a good idea to run him at the point unless you really have no choice. Kyrie, for the most part of his career, did play point guard on paper, but he's more of an undersized shooting guard in terms of how he actually plays. And this is why the Luka and LeBron combo works better than the KD combo, because Luka and LeBron technically play point guard despite their height saying they should play forward. And of course, I'm speaking in terms of offense. Defense is a totally different situation, and the Celtics actually have an advantage here defensively, at least on paper. While Kyrie doesn't play defense consistently, when he does defend, he is pretty hey. good at it, and we had seen him play amazing defense defense in the finals before. The Kyrie and Luka duo versus Jalen and Jason duo is one thing, but there's another debate amongst duos which is the most clutch duo of all time. Former Celtics legend Paul Pierce believes that Kyrie and Luka might not be the most clutch duo in mm, Why does this nigga have clowns in the background? NBA history, as he believes that the Paul Pierce and Ray Allen duo was much more clutch which has nothing to do with this NBA Finals, only because I don't think anything will convince Paul otherwise, as that will be his opinion no matter what. Paul Pierce is the GOAT, according to Paul Pierce. <laughs> Bottom line though, here's what's at stake. If the Celtics lose this Finals, the C in Celtics will stand for clowns, because there would be no excuse, especially with the highest paid player in the league on your roster, and your opponents being mostly nebulous to this stage of the postseason. Plus, you got home court advantage. The Celtics are the more rested team and are facing a team that could be physically burnt out going through three really tough series. But if they lose, while they'll be clowns, it wouldn't be frowning clowns, they will still be able to run it back next year, albeit with some slight changes. I don't think they will the whole roster, but again, they have a ton of pressure to win it now. That dunk on LeBron is legendary, bro. I think Jason Tatum was like around his starting year and he just dunked on LeBron. Ow. Bottom line awesome. and what's at stake for the Mavericks, Ew. if the Mavericks lose this finals, the M in Mavericks will stand for maybe next year, but that's a big maybe. Going back to Kyrie's age, they better not waste this opportunity because now is definitely better than later. Though Luka is only 25 and his true prime is expected to be around 28, which is three years from now, Kyrie's window is much smaller and who are you going to replace Kyrie to pair Luka with? That's not an easy question, even though Luka is a great talent. Never say never, there could be some surprises. If the Mavs don't know how to get this thing done, Luka may want to leave the team. Again, this is way too early and essentially just a rumor at this point. But mm. NBA lifers may be a thing of the past. Luka might not want to waste his prime playing for a mediocre team. Just look at what happened to Damian Lillard. He gave it his all, his all wasn't enough, so he went to play Robin alongside Giannis. And he that is okay. Giannis was giving the Bucks some heavy words, or at the very least, some heavy hints, suggesting that they better repair the franchise or he's up and out too. This series will set the tone for the future of the NBA. It would either symbolize that the Celtics are about to be the next dynasty, or it will symbolize that the age of the super team is gone, at least for the foreseeable future, and there would be an unpredictable wave on who will win the championship in the coming years. When everyone is stacked, no one is stacked. Because at the end of the day, only one team wins, and it's all or nothing. So you let me know down below who you think is going to win <laughs> this series and what the lands... Hey. W video. Really nice video. He was saying a lot. I know... I know a bit about basketball, like the basics. I've been learning more about plays and offensive plays, not really too much defensive plays. Like, I don't really understand what a 2-3 is or a 3-2. I just know how to do it in 2K. And when you switch up your defense, it confuses the other person.
but yeah that was a cool video i definitely learned something from that for sure skis and to wrap up this stream since we're on the topic of basketball we are going to finish this off with 30 minutes of Kyrie Irving being the most talented player in the NBA. Very ironic because he, we were just talking about him and his prime. Let's get into it, baby. I am a fan of Golden Hoops. Yeah. <laughs> he has the hey. best gifts I've ever seen of any NBA player. He's the most gifted player the NBA has ever seen. Ugh. I'm not sure there's ever Ugh. a player that looks more aesthetic than Kyrie, nigga. Ugh. His game is beautiful. It is I beautiful, have bro. So many words to praise Kyrie that I end up with absolutely none. Cook that nigga. Cook that nigga. Oh gosh, what are you gonna do? Oh. One, two. Ugh. Nice, nice, nice. That's a hard jersey for the Cavs. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Where am I going? Oh, oh get off. Oh! In between the defenders. With a young Giannis over there. I see him right there. A little skinny Ante de Kumpo. Nigga, still a giant, though. Damn. Ugh. Get off me, nigga. Oh, Kyrie got it. Fast break. Off a fast break. Off a fast break. Kyrie. Ugh, easy alley. He was signaling for alley, too. Ooh, the switch up. The two hander. Break. Kyrie, where you at? Where you at, Kyrie? There you go. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> Kyrie said, I can get up there too, nigga. I can get up there too. Break. <laughs> the putback. The putback was crazy. Give me that ball, nigga. <laughs> Everyone got shocked. Oh shit. Even the lady, even the lady passing out the towels was hyped up. Look at her. Piped up. Yeah, stop playing. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Wait, what the fuck? Curry had braids? Oh, <laughs> when did Curry get braids? Curry's not even trying, bro. He didn't even try to, like, move his hand or something to intimidate Kyrie. He was like, oh, it's Kyrie doing Kyrie, bro. Legit. He's just like, oh, shit. Look at this nigga go. Look at this nigga go. Fuck. I guess you're a plain man. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You couldn't. He... What do you do against that? What do you do against that, bro? Like, for real. Oh. Oh. What are you gonna do? Oh. The hook shot is crazy. Oh my gosh. On a fucking, look at the height difference. Chick-fil-A is crazy. The height difference and he did a hook on you, nigga. Damn. That nigga said it, wow! <laughs> Ooh, the fake was nasty. The fake was dirty. <laughs> oh, get off me, LeBron. Oh, that was dirty. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. I'm going here. Psych.
in your face. Nah, you couldn't do anything about that. You couldn't do anything about that, bro. Uh oh, Kyrie. Oh, little Afro Kyrie. Get off me, nigga. I got the pick in my brain. <laughs> you get it? It's like a like an Afro pick. You know, people put the Afro pick in their in their hairs for style points. It's, yeah. Black power. He changes his speed. All three niggas on him. I've seen this. Yeah, that was this year. I don't know why they just pointed to the camera. Just pant. Damn, that's a picture right there. That is a sick picture. That I have no idea why the camera panned to this random dude and his son and his son's hugging him. He's like, oh my gosh, daddy. Chris Paul, I mean, fuck. I always get these niggas' names confused. Paul George, James Harden, and this nigga right here all trying to block you, and you still made the shot is a fucking crazy picture. Like, legit, these niggas are triple teaming this nigga, and he's still scoring, bro. No one's touched the ball. This nigga is still making that bitch. Oh, my gosh. Nothing but net, too, nigga. Oh my gosh, what just happened? Oh, okay. It was a pick. Where? Oh, it's an assist? Ugh. Good assist. Ugh. That's like Curry's, bruh. That's Curry's special right there. That's when you know Curry's finna cook a nigga, bruh. That nigga does a double behind the back. Uh, uh. And he just starts going crazy with the fucking handles. Oh my gosh, mix that nigga up. Damn. Damn. Wait, is that is that Curry's brother? His big brother? I don't know if that says Curry on the back, but it's definitely Curry's number. I don't know. I can't read that real. I can't read it. <laughs> Mix that nigga up, though. Oh, get off me, nigga. Oh! What a fucking crazy pass. Oh, my gosh. It's a circus. Circus something. Oh, get off me, Clay. Oh, get off me, Clay. Oh! Kobe! That was... uh. A signature move, hand signed by Kobe Bean, Bean, Brian. Ugh, that nigga touched the floor, bro. Shit is getting sticky. Get off me, nigga. Uh. Oh, the hezzy. Oh, the hezzy. Oh, my gosh, the step back. Oh, my gosh. Oh! Nah, that's a crazy move. The, he stepped back two times and still was fully controlled with the ball, bro. That's a, that is a crazy fucking move. One, two. Literally, literally went back twice and he still can dribble. That's fucking crazy. Uh. 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 Beautiful layup, boy. Where's Kyrie? There he is. <laughs> I didn't know where he was for real. Oh, 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 still got the ball, nigga. <laughs> Stop playing with me, nigga. A young Kyrie. Uh. Uh. Oh, oh, damn. Bro, I know Kyrie exerts so much energy just on one play. Oh, you got big boy LeBron in the corner. I don't know if you guys can see him. You can. LeBron, watch out. Uh, oh, the double. Okay. Hey, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
you, you saved that one. Uh, 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 uh. That was a good distraction. Little fro nigga, get off me. Damn, Kyrie is fucking, oh my gosh, bro. He's out here playing street ball. Oh my goodness, that was a fast pass. Shoosh. Oh, push that nigga. Oh, get away from me. Oh! <laughs> Stop playing, little nigga. <laughs> that nigga was finna tomahawk dunk on that nigga. Oh my gosh, the, the finish was beautiful too. Oh my gosh, just dribbling past everyone and just filet me yoning that bitch at the end. Oh. 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 oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. He makes that bitch. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's fucking what's his PJ Tucker, bro. That nigga talks so much shit too. Foul that nigga too. Oh. <laughs> Not LeBron, but you still get the job done. Damn, he was too quick. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, Cook Curry. <laughs> Oh my god. That nigga Kyrie won it. A foul, bro. He went to the floor so quick. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> the finish. Hello. Oh my goodness. Ugh, deep alley. Ugh, damn. In your face, nigga. Stop it. Stop it. Good pick. Ugh, teammate. The teammate didn't even know what the fuck to do, bro. <laughs> That was dirty, boy. LeBron, give it to me, nigga. Ah, put this nigga Curry real quick. Ah, we eat it. We eat it, Curry, nigga. We got Curry for everyone. Damn. Oh, Lamelo. Oh, Lamelo. Oh. Lamello them balls. <laughs> That's right. I just said that. Lamello them balls. Yep. Yep. Oh, Lil Fro. Lil Fro, what's up? What you got? What you got? Ugh, Ali. Ugh. Get off me, nigga. Stop playing with me, nigga. Oh. Oh. Get off me. He went under. I used to do that move, bro. Fuck. I need to put that back in my bag. Oh, stop trying to get the ball, tall man. I thought you could strip me. He's too fast. He's too slippery. He's too fast and he's too slippery, nigga. Stop playing with him. We got fake brawn in the background, too, nigga. Uh, 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 
Oh, you found me, nigga? Get off me! Eat the floater! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> oh my gosh! Damn! <laughs> oh my gosh! Yep, you you could see it happening, bro, from a mile away, bro. When you have the person setting the pick cutting with you, bro, it's over with. It's complete. And this nigga is looking at the nigga with the ball, which he shouldn't do. Look at, oh yeah, yeah, it was over with. You were doomed from the beginning. Ooh, nigga, I'm too fast. Get the fuck off me, nigga. I'm Kyrie Irving, nigga. Get off of me. Ah! This nigga tried to kick it? What? Ugh. Boosh. Game winner. Get the fuck out of here. We, we going back to America, nigga. Get me out of Toronto. That's what Kyrie said with that shot. Get off me, nigga. I'm going to Toronto. I mean, out of Toronto. Look at the nigga. Look at the nigga in the yellow, bruh. This nigga right here. He was like, oh, oh, oh. He made the shot. He's like, oh, shit. So disappointed. So disappointed. <laughs> so disappointed. Oh, my gosh. Boosh. Instant disappointed. He's like, fuck. <laughs> oh my gosh. He does this shit for real, bro. He's in the lab. He plays basketball. That is fucking dirty, boy. Look at this nigga, bro. This nigga ain't no ba oh, the ref is funny. This nigga right here, his face when he goes for that shot. He's like, damn, nigga. That nigga said, damn, nigga. The ref is intensely staring. Everyone isn't. Who the fuck is this nigga, bro? Who is he and why does he stick out like a sore thumb? Oh, you can't even see him. Who is this nigga and why does he stick out like a sore thumb? Who is this guy? I'm gonna, yeah, who is this guy? I have no idea. He just sticks out for some reason. Uh, uh, uh. Kyrie loves going on that side. Yeah, that's his bread and butter, boy. Going on the outskirts. It makes sense. No one was there. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah that makes complete sense. Ugh. Oh, he can do either both. Oh, he just goes where no one is. That makes sense. Pick him up real quick, boy. Stop it. Kyrie, where you at? There you are. Oh, get off me. Oh, oh my gosh. Ugh. Ugh. That's his, he loves that shit, bruh. Oh, I like wizard. <laughs> oh my gosh. He like intimidated the hell out of bruh. Bruh thought he was finna get dunked on for a bit. Look at it. When he goes up, he thinks he's finna get dunked. He scoots back. He's like, nah, nigga. I'm going for the quick. I'm going for the good finish. Ugh. Damn. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dang. Oh! Good pass. Oh. Ugh. Stop it. I get up there, nigga. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah, I think I love doing that. He loves doing it. Going for the fake dunk to the fucking spinny, spinny, turn, turn layup. Look, look, look. Oh, fake dunk. Spinny, spinny, turn, turn. In green. Whoosh. Ah, speaking of green. No Draymond, nigga. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Kyrie? Ugh. Oh. oh my gosh. Oh shit. They didn't know where to go. 
They still have the ball. Shot clock at six. Irving crossover inside. Ooh. Off the I didn't even see it. Replay? No replay. Fuck. Oh, yep. There it is. That nigga tries to steal that bitch. Ugh, stop it. And he still fucking put a little spin to it. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh. Kobe Bean Brian. I'm sorry for pointing this dude out, but Broski right here is not dripped out. I'm so sorry. At least in my opinion. Is he wearing... No way. He's wearing grape fours. He's wearing grape fours with skinny jeans, a fucking wizard, a wizard's fucking hoodie, not hoodie, a wizard's jersey and a hoodie. That's, it's all right. It's okay. He's like, he's in high school. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. The grapes are hard though, but it, your fits, hey, hey, to each their own. Everyone has a different style. That's just not my apparent style it's buddy style it's okay the, the shoes are very hard though oh. oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh where am i going where am i going where am i going nigga i'm going here nigga Ah, that was nice. Going through the whole team. Get off me. Ooh. Dang. That was spectacular. Oh my god. He hung in the air Oh. Oh, there it is. The spinny spinny turn turn, bruh. <laughs> oh, oh. No spinny spinny turn. Wow. Oh my gosh, in between you both, and I'm still dribbling the ball. Stop it. Mix up. Mash them. Yeah. Curry. <laughs> oh, he strips it, and he shoots it. Oh! Going crazy. Harden tried to jam it in there. Oh, God. That was a great pass. Oh. 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 Lil Fro, nigga, stop it. Lil Fro, bro. Lil Fro. Uh. Uh. Oh, spin. Oh, spinny, spinny. Oh, no, spinny, spinny. Turn, turn. You just get the spin. The spin is crazy. <laughs> Stop playing. That's my fucking teammate, buddy. Boosh. On the freaking Golden State bench, too. Oh, my gosh. Momentum, bro. Cobra in the mouse. That's what he's going to say. Ugh. Ugh. Just shoots that guy. <laughs> he did lose him. Good pass. Oh, my gosh. Amazing finish on Mr. Talling Wingspan Celtics, man. Not Celtics. Spurs, man. I'm seven foot eleven. I still can't block Kyrie. Oh, I got the ball. It's okay. Oh, oh, oh! Get Clay off me, bro. Get Clay off me, bro. Ah! Oh my gosh! They tripping over themselves. Now he said one, two, three. Get off of me! Oh, 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 how did this man finish like he just ran a fucking mile or something? 
He's just looking like he ran, bruh. Oh, wingspan man again. Oh, get off me, wingspan. Oh, behind myself. Stop playing with me, tall guy. Fall guy, no, tall guy. And I'm still scoring over you. Oh, my gosh. Ugh. Wizardry. Kyrie? <laughs> the alley to Kyrie. Ah! <laughs> Stop it, nigga. I jump high. Boosh. <laughs> Luca. The step back. Uh, in your face. Good pass. The no looker. <laughs> he just pointed over there. Shooting that bitch. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Great last minute scoring. Oh. Oh. Was that who I thought it was? Oh no, that's just another balding man in the NBA that has a beard. Okay, never mind then. I thought it was LeBron. Ooh, good pass. Ooh, ooh. He's taking some notes from his teammate, bruh, with the little spinny spinny turn turn. Ugh. Dagger, bruh. Just shot that guy. Ugh, where am I going? Oh my gosh, you don't know. Ugh, I'm shooting that guy. In your face. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. Get him off me, bruh. I told you, get Clay off me, bruh. Get him off, bruh. Stop it. Every time. Those are nice jerseys that the Cavs have. Boosh. <laughs> Good pass from Kyrie. I'm just passing the ball immediately back to him. Oh. Oh. Good pass. Good vision, for real. He had a whole bunch of people on him, and he still had a pretty good pass. And it was behind a back. Oh, my gosh. Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? I'm going over here. Uh, I'm gone. Bye-bye. Ah. Damn. That's a little fro, Kyrie, bro. Stop it. Whoosh, bro. Good pass. Yep, I already knew it. In your face, nigga. Full contact. I had the ball teasing you in your face. Legit. No spinny, spinny turn. That was just straight. I'm here, bro. Oh, you thought. I'm gone. Goodbye. Boosh. Damn. That nigga was trying to look cool after. He couldn't. He had to catch his composure. Uh-oh. Who's getting the ball? Kyrie, where are you? There you go. Who <laughs> knows? Mm, I think I'm going to shoot it. <laughs> I'm shooting it again. <laughs> Damn. I'm going crazy, boy. No way he shoots it again. Oh my gosh, my teammate fell. It's okay. I got it slack. Shooting that bitch. Boosh. Oh. Kyrie, are you anywhere? Here you are. Shoot that bitch. Ah, boosh. With the fucking rainbow arc on it. He's like a hero, bro. Oh my gosh, this music. Good pass. Ooh, dirty dunk. Ugh. Great midi. Hennigan said, damn. 
That nigga said, damn, bro. Bro, bro right here, he said, damn, after he made it. <laughs> See, damn. Oh, bro fell. I don't know how. Kyrie, you want to shoot it? Oh, go for it. Boosh. Sit my little fro. Oh, growing out the fro phase right here. I'm going for it. So pure. What? Oh. He bumps into him, bro. The bump fucks him up every time. They never expect him to bump. From what it looks like. Oh my gosh. That's Lil Fro. That's Lil Fro with the spinny spinny turn turn, bro. Stop it. Lil Fro with the spinny spinny turn turn. You already know he's cooking up some devilish activities. Speaking of cooking, why is there a nigga wearing a schmop in the background, bro? <laughs> that nigga literally came from cooking, bro. He said, oh, shit. I heard Kyrie's out here cooking some shit, bro. I got to come in and see. <laughs> Legit. Bye-bye. Uh. I'm gone. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That nigga dope. That is, that is a crazy-ass shot. This nigga is mid-air falling, still calculating his hand on arcing the ball, bro. That is insane. Little fro. Oh, get off me, ponytail. Oh, get off me, ponytail. Stop it. Stop it, ponytail. He tried your big in the air, and he still made it, bro. That's crazy. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, great pass. That was an awesome pass, bro. Jeez. Kyrie, whoosh. Good finish, bro. Good pass, too. You see his teammate. He's like, oh, is he going to get it? He got it. Uh, great pass. Oh, I got this, guys. Watch out. Give me the ball. Thank you. Whoosh. Whoosh. Excuse me, buddy. I'm shooting this. Uh. Oh gosh. Uh. Another shot. Boom. That's his spot right there. That's his little spot. Excuse me. Uh. That was a bit of Kobe with a bit of Kyrie. Oh. You try to be me, nigga? I'll show you what me looks like. Yes. You thought he was gonna go for it? Ali nigga! Boosh! Excuse me, Chris Adams. I gotta go. Boosh! I think I got his name right. Kyrie, Kyrie, Kyrie. There you are. Hey, buddy. Little fro, Kyrie. I'm shooting. He's just standing there. Damn. Look at him. Excuse me, James. I'm making that bitch. Westbrook. <laughs> Whoosh. Whoosh. Stop it. Yeah, I'm just making sound effects now, bruh. Where the fuck is this nigga coming from? What the? Who is this nigga? Is he a player or is he just a nigga? Well, excuse me. Is he just a guy? I don't even know, bruh. Uh. Dang. In your face, buddy. <laughs> I just want to point something out. Bro right here takes the biggest gulp. Watch. <laughs> oh, Curry. Oh, Curry. Oh, oh, he lost Curry. That was awesome. I, didn't, I wasn't looking. I got distracted. Here, Kyrie. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Uh. 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 Damn. Uh. 
I was gonna say the same thing, bro. Kyrie, take the ball. Thank you. Oh. Thought I was, thought I lost the ball? Nah, nigga, I'm shooting this bitch. Ush. Should never touched it, my boy. Excuse me, Draymond. Oh my god. Oh. Ush. Ugh, too tough, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh, Trey, you tried. Sorry, buddy. Ugh, I'm making it on your boy. Damn. Kyrie be getting roughed up, bro. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Appreciate it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that sound effect. Ooh, left hand is crazy, bro. Excuse me. Oh, great pass. Oh, my gosh. He's too small. Blake Griffin. Damn. It's been a minute since I've seen Blake. <laughs> How you doing, man? Hope you're good. Who wants the alley? You? Here you go. Moose. Not an alley. It's really a pass, but you know, you know what I was talking about. Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh, oosh, oosh. Oh, oh my gosh. That boy fell for the bait. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's too tough. He's too tough, bro. Excuse me. Whoosh. Yeah. <laughs> excuse me. Ah. <laughs> Oh, oh, you thought. Yeah. Hello. Goodbye. Ah! Uh, I'll go over here. Ah! <laughs> uh, Kyrie, where you at? There you go. Thank you. Ah! Oh, my gosh. This nigga does like a little pose every time. Oh, oh you thought. Oh, spin, turn, shoot, make in your Days. Oh, excuse me, sir. I'm going over here. <laughs> uh, shoot. Boom. Yoosh. <laughs> that was a mini spinny spinny turn turn. W video, man. Amazing highlight from your boy Golden Hoops and from your boy Kyrie fucking Irvings, bro. Oh my gosh. Unfortunately, that's all the time I have for today. If you did enjoy this and want to see more from me, make sure to hit me up on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube at Shy Guy Ties. Hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day. And I'm going to see you tomorrow with the next stream. Take care. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>